Hello and welcome to Table Tales. What are you doing? <laughs> there's a, there's a... <laughs> That's fine. People need to see me. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and figure out where to put that camera so he can't do that. I might want to rotate it as well. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. Just make it easier. Do I look nicer now? Yeah. Oh, you're actually all in frame now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's right. try that again. <laughs> well, I've already done the welcome. Okay, we'll so. Look like a rogue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, we'll go off with uh, previously kind of thing so we can all keep track of what's going on. Uh, well, I suppose the obvious is uh, we're down to Perry because Kate wasn't able to make it, so... His body followed us here from yesterday. Well, I've done mm-hmm. <laughs> So, um, I'll be basically autopiloting Perry through things. But we should be alright because I have been given pointers of what Perry would do in situations anyway, so we should be okay with that. Um, yeah, so in our previous game, y'all had discovered a village of crazy people, as, as you had been putting it, crazy. who so wanted cool. to destroy the beast in the middle of the island, <laughs> and following off uh, Drew's interest in getting all the story, you then, after meeting up with the other half of your original band of merry men to find people, you left off towards the northern village. And your other half, again, split off wanting to finish their main mission. And you guys felt the need to try and solve the problem of the villagers. It, it didn't become a race anymore, right? Because you lose now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, th- I think the idea of the race kind of finished once you caught up with each other again. Once we said, yeah, we'll do it all together, we'll walk the same way. Um, yeah, uh, you made it to the second village who seemed to have a dinner banquet going on and having spoken with their chief and now was it I think luggage initiated it and then Fitz joined in of agreeing to their trial of passage because I thought I was getting free stuff <laughs> because yeah, like, luggage, luggage, luggage was on. that's right they started putting all that crap on me and you went oh yeah yeah me too me too yeah oh, like, like, so, so Fitz and luggage had agreed to sit the trial of uh, manhood or, or adulthood, or I can't remember how I describe it. It's basically the adulthood trial. It's, so it's manhood's a bit redundant. Um, <laughs> a right, the, right the, of passage. Yeah, a right of passage. It's probably it's a better way of putting it. Uh, and so you guys... I already did that. <laughs> you, you, you guys uh, en- enjoy, enjoyed the night off, basically having been fed oh, food God. and given random gifts of things. And Fitz, some time before he'd gone to bed, decided to figure out exactly what he was given and figured out he was getting given things like trinkets and flowers and things like that. So he's, a, he's been a little disappointed realising that the free stuff may not necessarily have been overly interesting, but nonetheless... What, what, what the hell you were expecting? What holdouts? These things have sentimental value. <laughs> it's like some random school. And just yeah, so... <laughs> So we bring Just forth. Like, you know, we, we bring it into the morning, having luggage basically spent the entire night standing in his his passage doorway, watching everything go past in front of them. Fitz had gone to his tent, which was quite nice. It was it looked very solitude, and it was a, I saw a, a bird, a bunch, of, <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of blankets everywhere and things, and you had a good night. Mm. Uh, did you attempt to sneak into the tent? After you were kicked away from the tent, I wasn't technically kicked away from it. They just kind of went, "What are you doing?" I followed him, and then it just kind of got left. No, 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 they sent you away. They they sent you away. (laughs) To where? They just told you, "No, this is the the trial only." Um, I just continued to fight that. Um, I'm like, no, I'm going in there. There was a guard standing at the end. No, the, the, there wasn't a guard, it was you. It was you. It was just you. <laughs> the dude in front of me. No, there was, a, there was a dude who was leading you around, and the dude was stopping Drew from going in. Gotcha. Roll, me a, That's right. roll me either a stealth or an intimidation to whether, depending how you're going. Are you going to stealth in after? <laughs> just, just to see where you slept. So, yeah, roll, roll me a stealth. Hmm. 
It's a twenty. Twenty? Yep. No. About half an hour into the night, you came back. Luggage being in low power vault, didn't do anything, and you walked in and climbed and used luggage's bed essentially because luggage was there playing guard. Luggage was like, I don't use beds. Yeah. (laughs) Beds break if I sit. Oh, there you are. (laughs) Just staring, watching the bed. So, so it's just like a room of like blanks. Is he like? All right, pass. Would there be any goodies in there? No. Nah. <laughs> oh, extra holdouts. Steal it, all the blankets. There, there is actually that. There is yeah, a room. Your room, so your own so private so little lantern <laughs> of a lit feather that they use as their lights. That's basically it. The I will take that. <laughs> I have feathers I can set on fire. So do you. I think he just yeah, wants victory. Like, you know, <laughs> oh. If you want to steal something from him, let's steal something you... from where the trial is, because it's probably so, where there'll be useful oh, stuff. Yeah, but I need this. So, so, you, so you're, you're, you're stealing this feather? Yeah. Okay, I want you to mark down one half feather, because by the time you've taken it, it's burnt up half of it. So you've got one half burnt feather. Oh, burnt or burning? Burnt. If he'd taken it out, he would have put it out. Put it into his bag of holding. Unless you're just gonna hold on to it, then it might set your bag of holding on fire. <laughs> take the feather out, crush it, and take the metal lantern. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a metal. Lantern. Wait, what if I just? So it's in a lantern. Yeah. It's what if I just stuff a whole lantern in the bag with the feather in there? Passage of time. Eventually, you'll just have a lantern. Hmm. As time carries on in the bag. Ah, but there's no oxygen in the bag, so it wouldn't burn. It would go out. It'd just sit there. So it'd be the same as if you just picked it yeah. up, put it out, and put it in the bag. Higher or lower? Oh. Higher. Oh. Lower. <laughs> Purely because I rolled it too. What happened? <laughs> you got burnt. You take two d eight damage. <laughs> you okay, the no, I, I, so you you <laughs> you've taken the lantern and stuck it in your bag of holding. Nothing marginal has happened. If you check that later, I will let you know whether it's still burning or not. Yes. So the next morning has come. <laughs> Don't know if you should be guessing that. <laughs> got something more from the I think I would have rather it just not be burning. <laughs> were we given a time that we were meant to be? Um, no, you weren't given a time because they don't operate in time. <laughs> it, would, it, it would have been daylight and oh, suddenly hustle. That don't surprise So based <laughs> on you being low power mode and sort of paying attention to things, dawn sort of kicks in and you start seeing the beginnings of people cleaning up from the feast the night before and some people sort of piling some of the stuff that Fitz has thrown off because he's gotten annoyed that he was given just feathers around his neck and stuff. But he's he's been given so much... Actually, yeah, you, you've probably got about um, two gold, no, about a gold worth of just ornamental feathers and, so and, and, and flowers. Worth of junk. A, a gold's worth of junk. Well, both of you have a gold's worth of junk, which is quite a lot of junk. <laughs> can you keep up with all that on you? Or just stuff it. Because I can keep up with all that on some, some of it is very nice flowers, but flowers do wither over time. So. Mm. At the moment, it's worth a gold, but depending how long it takes for you to sell it, it might be worth less. Just turn around to the person in front of me. Would you like to buy a flower? <laughs> <laughs> I'd better keep it on for now, just in case. It could be protection. So, uh, the first thing, um, roll me a perception for luggage. A perception. Uh, that would be a 16. Yeah, cool. 16, yeah. So, you're all sitting there in your front tent, just kind of partially coming into conscious to pick up what's going on and you notice Perry wandering from somewhere on the other side of camp, you don't know where, and as Perry's walking over to the campfire to sit down, Perry's hair starts transforming and turns periwinkle. He sits uh, down, he sits down to one Perry. of the tables and starts eating. Not being here to finally have the hair oh, she wanted. Right. <laughs> and, and Liz that... runs up and sits and starts eating next to him. Oh, cool. A couple of minutes go by and a few other people sort of walk Why, through. As he walks past. Perry will turn back kind so of it is way. it is officially dawn like sun is up yeah it's, the sun's up now basically the second the sun was up mm. drew was up and coming out of the tent like yeah so you've, you've seen perry wander over and just kind of hide at the end of a table and start eating some food obviously people 
have left over for breakfast and things. And uh, actually roll me a perception as well. <coughs> So both you and luggage notice that to your, because you're sitting in a tent that sort of opens the main area, you came in through the right hand side of where your tent is, you can see a small crowd is beginning to sort of gather in and they're sort of chatting to each other. It appears to be a couple of people who have a couple of spears and things and a couple of nice dressed people. It's a, an interesting mix of people. Is Fitz getting up at dawn or is Fitz doing what cats do best and just Hanging out. Waking up at two o'clock in the morning and waking everyone else up. Fitz <laughs> is going to get up and he's going to roll up the blanket and he's also going to take that. Mm. Isn't there multiple blankets? Then you take what? Wasn't it just a pile of blankets? It's a pile. It's like bunch of. It's. I uh, think of one of those. Um, it's it's almost like it's a bunch of cushions that have been laid out, made out of blankets that have been folded into sort of cushion, so you're not sleeping on hard ground, basically. And when I say blankets, I don't mean like the blankets we have. I mean like it's stitched together sort of things. It's like the one blanket that you have, that every like Kiwi family has that's coarse and rough, but yeah. it works really well. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's yeah. usually like yeah. Fitz will take it. <laughs> you need something to be all like. Oh. And then when we're out in the woods, <laughs> you won't have it, and I will. Okay. I am not affected by hot, hot, hot <laughs> Mark, mark down oh that you have, have um, kind of thing. Living in caves and shit. Tri tribal blankets. Uh, <laughs> you guys have that generally heat. Or are able to move around. No, blankets times three. Ooh. Okay. Uh, but it's really hot. That's well. so. Random junk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a gold worth random junk. Random That junk. will decay over time. Yes. From... Uh, is your phone? Yes, sir. I'm just like, wait, what's this? It's a little bit of a This is the speed he did. Hello. Wait, Hello. Down and draw our luggage. Mm. Um, it is indeed. How are you doing? Alright, um, we'll go on anyway. So, um, one of the people on that group actually roll me a perception for Fitz coming out, whether Fitz notices it or not. <laughs> I'll just go with. Um, I'll just do nine. The saw up on the edge goes more towards one than the other. That's okay, so <laughs> Fitz wakes up and sees Perry, sees luggage and Drew. There's a bunch of people wandering around everywhere. Hmm. I guess I'll just um, go meet up with them. Yep. So Fitz one is over to you. <laughs> <What's fine? laughs> uh, Sketching out on each other. <laughs> uh, Fitz has just wandered up. To you guys, oh. as you're standing outside your tent. Sorry, everyone. Real life. Waiting. Let's see if it's yeah. come walking up to well, Unless nice. you've moved for some reason to go somewhere. No. Wave at the, 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 the catman. So, uh, any details about the, uh, the uh, trial? Negative. Feeling that's what you'll be learning about now. <laughs> and I start wandering over to the group. <laughs> Water, uh, um, as you're wandering over, Perry kind of gets up and holding some of the food from the plate, wanders over and starts walking. Sort of, not next to you, but sort of enough to see what's going on. But, <laughs> yeah. and, and essentially that's what Perry is going to be doing from now on, is just sort of with an earshot of everything, but just... Ghosting. Ghosting it, yeah. What he normally does. Nice. Chill in the nice, back nice. and keep an eye. In the so you, you wander over and yeah. there are... As I wander up, I'm like, so, who's running this thing? A couple of these guys turn around and <laughs> oh! Goblin one, and one of the nicer looking ones walks in and goes, Ah, is big friend and cat friend ready for trial? I am. I will be following you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Just <sort> of <laughs> Excellent. Trial begins now. Just side note, I need to be near the big one at all times. 
<laughs> roll, roll me a persuasion. Can't be a high one. one. Ooh, 12? You can travel with the big one. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so far but so when good. trial begins, we will see. Trial begins now. Uh, trial, so trial, uh, trial to trial begins now. He says yeah. he turns and walks. Do we get anything after the trial? Yeah, your, your place. Like... Your place will be earned. Follow. This guy turns and around. starts walking to the Fine. main entrance yeah. and sorting hat and these four guys who look like they've got the spears that you've seen sort of there as they're essentially the town guard kind of guys are walking with you as your group starts heading out. Do you have any feathers on them? Yep, these, these, these guys have feathers attached to their armour and things. To just wave at everyone. Yeah, as, as, as you guys are leaving, there are some people who are sort of blurry eye and sort of looking out their windows and going, ooh, and some people who have been waiting right at the entrance and clapping as you're leaving, all very excited, sort of early dawn, they're all ready for this, and they're watching you going, yes, trial, 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 as you sort of venture out of the entrance. Yeah, yeah. I, want to, I want to try and find out the smallest, if there's a child that's saying, trial, 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 and be like, you may come. None of the children are. Put that down, put that down. I have a second shoulder. Thanks, <laughs> come. I want to try and pinch one of the, the shiny feathers off one of the guards we're walking with. Want me to slide a hand? Yeah, uh, you 22. Do not have this written down. You have to roll that shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well done. You're what you're. Fitz is one wrong as you guys walk out, and he just goes, Achoo! Grabs a couple of feathers off one of the guy's shoulders. No one's in A couple, yes, it's more than one! <laughs> so, how much would I have total like? Twelve, twelve and a half. half. You should be keeping track. Yeah, yeah, twelve and a half. Yeah. See this here? I'm going to need another feather. Is this like when we cover it, though, I have them? That's how many total Crack feathers like I have on my person. Yeah, but we need more. No, we don't. We can make so your fire like proof out there. Well, I can't, but we could. I don't need it. Anyway. You're really no children to grasp, but let's carry on. Yep. The, the ones that you can't see are windows, as well, they've obviously woken up and just sort of sitting out their windows. They're not awake enough to be out. Good. This is why I you're... have to stay near him every time. <laughs> <laughs> so your group ventures out down the familiar path as you enter the town and, and start. you start walking out. About an hour or so of journeying later, you come to a fork in the road that you guys hadn't noticed last time you came along, because you'd come down and kept walking, that bitch is slightly off to the right, and you start heading off towards the right, down an unfamiliar path. Country road. <laughs> yeah, don't go taking in the sights. Yep, uh, wrong me, a couple of perceptions. To the uh, this is a lucky dice. I rolled oh, 20 again. Natural 20. <laughs> These are good dice. <laughs> Thanks, Wish. <laughs> one, three, one, seven. You guys venture on. There's nothing out of the stress that you need to worry about. So you you two are natural 20s or 20 total? Natural. I got a natural. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Natural. So, so Drew and Fitz kind of look forwards. And in the distance, which you probably gather is another half day's worth of a walk, you can see a bit of smoke coming up from the massive mountain that seems to be in the centre of this island. Oh. And your path appears to be sort of, even though it sort of winds sort of through the brush, it seems to be heading in that direction. Oh. It's either danger or food. <laughs> Do I need to shave myself? It's going to get pretty hot with people. That's normal. I haven't yeah. seen it, so I don't know. Point. So um, I might want to do it. Hmm? Yeah, like to the guy leading the charge. The, 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 the guy who's basically he's, right he's, he's walking with purpose. Yes. Yes, the, the oh. smoke no, coming no, no, from no, the mountain. Oh, is it you on your shoulders? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't walk anywhere if he doesn't need to. Oh, oh, oh go on. It, it, it's that or running. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. So the smoke coming up from the hill. Trial. Uh, uh, it, it knows? Uh, bo- volcano. Part of the trial. <laughs> so We're going to the smoke. Yes. Part of the trial. Y- yes. So the smoke's always smoking? Depends of eating. Smoke means fire. Yes. 
and I immediately changed to my fire. <laughs> Mastery of fire. Just immediately, instinctively. Which was just like, pack, um, what do you mean by depends if eating? Part of first trial. Gatekeeper. I see. Uh, there was talks of a, a person that lives in a hut or a cabin or something up this way. Gatekeeper. He's the gatekeeper. Oh. Gatekeeper li- lives in trial house. Does he feel okay. Okay. Does the gatekeeper <laughs> need to die? No. Kids to kill <laughs> For I first part of trial, gatekeeper. Normally if there's a keeper in front of a gate, you're trying to get through. You kill the gatekeeper to get through. You don't kill the gatekeeper, you answer riddles. Ah, fuck that. <laughs> and what? Is my your intelli- favorite color? My intelligence is high. <laughs> I'm worried about the cat that just entered the room and the internet cable is walking past. (laughs) Be mindful, kitten. Good kitten. (laughs) Bye, Sky. (laughs) After that intermission. (laughs) Continuing. Yeah, seeing as Drew's getting no real answers out of it, he's. Yeah, whatever. I like a lot of information on that now. First of all, now I know there's smoke. <laughs> no, there's smoke, and there's smoke when something's eating. Smoke means fire. So Gatekeeper. It, 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 Gatekeeper is the guy. <laughs> it gets to about midday, and your group cresses through this edge of a um, bush area. And but as we're walking, um, one other question to the man. Is the gatekeeper large? Depends how big you are. To you? Not sure. Been a while since seeing Gatekeeper. Understood. Well, acknowledged. So your, your group comes through out of a, uh, a brush clearing to the bottom of this hill looking area. As you walk out, you notice this path that you're on leans to the bottom of the hill where there is a post that has been placed at the bottom of the hill. Is it a Facebook post? <laughs> no. <sighs> it, it's a post with a bunch of red like, paint going around in, in sort of a spiral shape on either side of this post, and then the path immediately goes from this sort of gravelly, mostly walked over path to a very muddy looking path, almost like it was not really a path that was created, but more of a path that was made out of people walking it through mud and things and sort of dirt track. Yeah. yeah. And this path go- seems to go up the bank and sort of turn and just sort of weaves up a little bit to the top of this little embankment, which also has this hut sitting on the top of it. And at the top of this hut, just behind it, is the side of this massive mountain scape that's been in the centre of the island that you guys have seen from different angles numerous times now. And the leader of this weird little group you are stops and turns to Luggage and Fitz and goes, Trial Gatekeeper here. We stay. You must make to top. Pointing to the hut at the top of the hill. No, no, don't even stop. (laughs) Um, 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 um. Green friend can't come. Trial is for you two. <laughs> Nudge. <laughs> Nudge. I'm just like... Nudge. Excuse you? For the safety of everything on this island, I must stay with him. <laughs> she does not trust me. Or he does not trust me. Nobody well, should. <laughs> it's really well, bad another perception. Does this trial... I don't know what that is. That's on the angle. <laughs> that is cocked. Okay, cool. When the yes, center line is at the top. It's, it's a lower DC cocked. because you didn't completely muck up the first persuasion conversation you had. Uh, per 17. Okay, yeah. There's, there's a bit of talking and muttering to each other. And I will ensure he does not interfere. I'll be good. Very well. <laughs> Only one. The group immediately turns back to Vandal, who's been sitting there the entire time in the back, quietly taking in everything, and goes, Oh. <laughs> we'll catch up with you later, buddy. You want to just chill here for a while? Our elf will keep you company. He's invisible. Where is Fred Elf? Invisible. 
Vandal immediately turns and disappears into the bush, screaming out, Friend Elf! <laughs> Great. Thank God he's coming. And now he's going to meet us at the top of the hill. <laughs> Land all. Um, right. <laughs> yep. uh, now yeah. the conversation's over, feet keep stomping. Yeah, uh, so how, how hot, like, far is it up this? It's maybe a five minute walk up this bank, basically. It's. It's just another walk. It's it's another walk, but it's a rougher terrain, basically. So you're not going as fast as you normally would. But it's I am mean, actually you. both of them probably are because you've no. got train as well. No, I actually have an ability to be able to walk without any issues. As I myself. know that. Actually, but no, because I would he's be, got because things he's like climb it. and cat things. You're, not, cli- you're not climbing. It's just rough terrain. It just means that the, the right. path you're walking that's, is, is that's just... Can I just use stop speed and uh, the jump? What? For the next five minutes? I mean, you don't have to, but if you want to... <laughs> you want to I me mean, what there. would a cat do, I suppose? <laughs> <laughs> Feel on agility and... Which is once per jump. rest. Short rest, isn't it? I don't think this one's much once per rest. You might want to check that because you might want that for your details. trail instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a short rest while I'm waiting for you. <laughs> it's not going to take a that long for you. just said like five minutes, short rest is at least 15. It's like closer to an hour. A short rest of 15 minutes is very short. Yeah, well, six yeah, minutes. Yeah, some long. rocks fall 15 down. 15 minutes and, is know. considered a short rest and enough for a droid to get their form back. No, I don't know something that I know from my character. This is something <laughs> a that different character. I would be questioning. I'll just use I'll just use a jump. I'll just use jump. Don't need be agility. You're just, you're just <laughs> jumping up. He's just giving himself jumps. Can you defy gravity? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so Fit, Fitz just jumps up. Jumps up the bank. Acrobatics checks to make sure he lands on difficult terrain problems. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Give me a. <laughs> Alright. Give me a perception first. Oh. You didn't say I feel to see if you see <laughs> what you're jumping up. <laughs> okay, something's wrong here. That dice is like a okay, one for three. The 20. opposite. Yeah, 20. 20. <laughs> okay. Come on, and now we're now all the acrobatics. And now a one. for it. Because you've, you've seen the danger. Oh, okay. Okay. Not bad. 13. Plus six, nineteen. Okay. Yep. So now is it casting jump or is it just an ability to jump? Cast. Okay. So you, Fitz goes, <clears throat> stands at the post and sort of does the wavy things he needs to do. Casts <laughs> jump on himself you're doing and then leaps suit. forwards. As he leaps forwards and starts coming down, he notices that there is a gorse bush sitting and sort of moves himself slightly and lands next to the gorse bush and then oh. jumps up again. So there's another gorse bush somewhere else and lands. Noticing these different gorse bushes have seemed to have populated up some of this path. That they're not massive, but there's sort of there's enough there that if you landed it, it probably would hurt a little bit, and you're able to maneuver around these bushes, jumping up the path. Also, one thing: feline agility. I just have to stay in one, or I just can't move again for one turn, and then I get it back. You have to stay still for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. At least now you know that. <laughs> if he doesn't stay still, okay. <laughs> uh, how does his luggage go up this? Does he just walk? I'm just gonna drop. Yep. I got friggin' 17 AC. I don't think gorse bushes are really gonna do Jesus much to No, but the gorse bushes aren't so much difficult as it's just. You've got to see them. Crunch! <laughs> and it's just Actually, yeah, roll me a perception to see if you see them. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> 11? Yep, no, you see them. His DC, his DC was higher, but it didn't really matter because he was jumping. But you, you walk up and you just see each push and kind of maneuver around. As Fitz makes it to the top, he lands at the end of this path where there's another set of posts that have the weird paint thing, and looks forwards and sees the entrance of this hut and a garden that appears to be sort of someone would be gardening there. There's a bit of a sort of a lot more modern looking garden than you're expecting to see here. Mm. And sitting in the middle of the garden is a post with a little black bird 
in a sort of small set of uh, leather armor and a rapier. And he's like this. And he stops and looks over at you and goes, Affirmative? Friend! Oh no. And the little tinker jumps off and wanders up to you. Affirmative. Friend! Stops. Tinker looks down. Friend! Places the sword back. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Affirmative. That's just going to sort of shuffle to the side because he doesn't really feel comfortable around this thing. <laughs> Are you a size? gatekeeper? Negative. Where is the gate? Not the gatekeeper, the gate. The <laughs> teacher just looks at you confused. Gate? Yes, gate. Gate? Door? Door! Points. Uh, <laughs> door behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to join me? Regressing coming on now. <laughs> and offering him to like join me, friend. Affirmative. Grabs the tinker runs over and stands in front of you and tries to climb up onto your shoulder. How much does he weigh? He's about the same weight as Drew. He's a very small little thing. While I move, understood. <laughs> when I fight, move off. Yes. Affirmative. So it looks at you. <laughs> I have a bird on one side. Greeting! <coughs> Hi. Are you well? Stabbing a little existential crisis over on the other shoulder. Good luck. <laughs> 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 Are you friends with the yeah, yeah, yeah. person in here? Is this your house? <laughs> Affirmative. Hurry up and do the gardening! In a voice that you haven't heard before. I then call out in the direction of that voice. No, 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 the, the, the tink you've said that. Ah, oh, from there, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that is no way to speak to a friend. <laughs> Not me, okay, fair it's, enough. It's, it's mimicking, obviously, a conversation that's recently had. Who told you that? Friend. We're friend. Door. Points of the heart. Acknowledged. Is it tall enough for me to get through with a kinker on my shoulder? Probably not with both of them on your shoulders. The door looks like it would probably fit yeah. you walking through. But... Oh, I'm more worried about height than anything else. Yeah, my, uh, True. They are higher than you. The door looks like you're going to have to kind of do this <laughs> to get under. So with them on your shoulder, they knock them. <laughs> Drew has seen the situation. I hop off and just sort of hang back, but close enough to be observant. And... If I get spoken to, I'll be like, yeah, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, Fitz will try and get in there first. The, the door? Nope, I won't it's, let ju him. it's just a door. I it's won't let him get past me. Just run straight into a door. <laughs> it's a closed door. <laughs> <laughs> As we're walking towards it, if he's going, like, yeah, I'll, I'll foot out, arm out, stop him, hold him back. Close what Whatever you want me to do, he's not allowed to run ahead. It's a nice <laughs> Whatever I have to roll. Um, and it's a 19. You've got to wait for him to tell you what <laughs> to roll. I was going to say um, luggage roll and attack. See? <laughs> you don't need to roll. Uh, that's, uh, what kind of an attack? That's uh, just... Um, that yeah. plus basic, so to be... What I think it would be dex, because you're trying to... Basically, you're, you're trying to attack to trap him up, basically. It's either a 17 or a no, 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 19 if I'm proficient in stopping him. You wouldn't be proficient in it. It would be 17. What's your AC? Like 13? 16. So, so Fitz runs forwards, luggage goes... <laughs> Fitz goes... <laughs> Can I sort of just roll and stand back up and keep... If he's knocked me, I'll roll Will, an acrobatics. Willy Wonka style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll an acrobatics. I watch that go here and then here. Yeah, well, it's on, it's, on, it's, on, it's, on, it's on paper. It's on paper. Okay. I'm not, no, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just wondering if we uh, actually need to plus? test those dice. Plus six. 23. Yeah. <laughs> fits, so fits, fits. Like Smacks forwards, <laughs> rolls forwards, pops up in front of luggage. Vax and friggin' Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> and Fitz is now standing at, which looks like two steps and then a door. You must no. dismount. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of um, tell the team to go, 
top down for now because obviously I cannot fit through the door with you on me. Affirmative. Tinky hops off you and goes, hurry up and do the gardening. Turns and runs back over. <laughs> Negative. Follow me. Negative. Hurry up and do the gardening. Continues running over the garden. Goes back to the garden. <laughs> hops back off into the post that he was standing on the beginning with and sits there with a sword again and just kind of waits. Okay, like his job. <laughs> The tone of voice that the person gave to him, that command to him, makes me upset. This is my friend. How does it make you upset? You don't have feels. Yeah, do. You don't. You're a robot. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, uh, anyways. I can't get to the door. I'm just physically. So is this bit knocking on the door? Yeah. I mean, it's, huh? it's going to be a fist right through okay. it. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you get to it first, that'll be fine. Uh, you hear a huh? There's a couple of scruffles of something and then the sound of a chair moving. Some footsteps. Trials. Trial? Uh, even louder. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Just give give me a second. <laughs> Hurry up and get the one. door. <laughs> Starts trying to <laughs> the handle and try and move it. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and you hear a, a lock noise. Sure I'm the door and I'm here and I'm standing <laughs> And, and standing in front of you is a sort of farmer-dressed person in sort of a, a white shirt. It's very covered in mud and things, and he's kind of standing there. His hair's all scruffled and sort of short. This guy looks like he's in his mid-thirties. And he sort of pops up and he goes, Yeah, okay, another trial. What? Yeah, yeah. I got here first. I, I just want to say that. Um, you're not the usual crowd. Yeah. And there's a goblin just standing back from them just with this. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah this down right. <laughs> you see these? I was, I was you know. <laughs> You're not with that. I'm still wearing the crap. I don't know if you are. I am. I am. I'm, I'm, stuff I'm stuff. wearing all of the crap that put on. Where did you guys come from? Point in the right direction. I mean, there's a guy down the bottom of the hill, isn't it? Yeah, no, those guys are down the trial. They're, they're just watching from the yeah. distance. Yeah. Can we? No, no. You. Oh, the sky! We fell! <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining. The <laughs> Drew's grin just keeps getting wider and wider as this is going to. Goblin! Yes! Hi. This is my discoverer. Oh. He follows me <laughs> everywhere. Um, come inside. The guy turns and sort of moves aside to One moment, the door. Just can I bring my other friend? Point huh? at the king You mean the bird then? My friend, yes. He's not supposed to be inside. Why not? Because he makes a mess. He keeps telling us to go do a garden. I walk in the door, following him. Is there any form of furniture? Um, yeah, there is a table, sort of. I'm going to have a map for this. So you walk through, and in front of you there is a table with three chairs around it, and then to the left it looks like there's a kitchenette looking area, and then there is another door in the corner, and then sort of parallel to the door and the table sort of in between the two is a bookshelf with a couple of books sitting on it. I'll pull out the chair. But is there any feathers? Crush it as I sit down. <laughs> um, Thank you, you for the oh. hospitality. Oh. Or a chair. My apologies. It was not sturdy enough. <laughs> I misjudged. It's not designed for someone your size. Acknowledged. <laughs> Acknowledged. <laughs> Understood. He looks back at Fitz and the Um, are you in charge? Fitz. Uh, I was just <laughs> I'm in charge. I was just here first. Drew steps forward. Look, buddy. I went on a question hunt <laughs> to find some answers, and these two ended up on a trial. Um, I'm still seeking answers. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the next step? Is there any feathers? Well, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the next step is to answer the riddle. Um, Admiral. And there's there's feathers involved. It's a trial. Oh. I don't know if you guys actually need to sit in trial. Yes, yeah, it's, it's for the villagers here. Gives them something to do, I think. Is there something in the mountain? 
They said they'll give me a place there if roll, I do it. Roll an insight check as he comes. So look at you confused. <laughs> an insight check to see if I know what he's confused about. No, to, to see if he looks like. Ah, yeah, five. No. No. He's confused. He, he just looks very confused. Hmm. Monster? What? The beast. What's the deal with the beast? Villages. Let's just get on with the riddle van. Uh, uh, <laughs> How okay. did you get here? I, I live here. With no. Me, with Why are you here? How did you get here? I travelled here. Why? The villages? No. From the shipping yard. The town? Pointing at probably the shipping yard. Where we were going to go. From where you are, place. if you looked out, you can see sort of the very end of the island. Essentially, you can see a little bit of what looks like the shipping yard area. And it's yeah, from over there. Why are you here? Because... What's with the smoke? Ignoring the cat. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the... Chimney? Oh. <laughs> and I'm looking after my uncle's hut. Why do you have a friend? My friend. You, you mean the bird thing? The I, bird. I don't know. It, it just turned up one day and just never left. Wait, do we recognize him as the guy that was in the imagery that we got? Feeding what roll, we thought was the beast? Roll me a history. Oh, Wait, that you got? I thought I was the one. Yeah, but then you gave... You, you gave, gave the image to everyone except for Fitz, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you gave him the scary imagery of the... Something monster. else entirely different, yeah. Uh, but Where do these not... come from? Nice. He pulls out one of the feathers. He looks like a human. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> what did you get? I have a plus five to history. It's a roll with three. Yeah, same <laughs> issue here. I yeah, no, he, he looks like a person. Oh. He, he looks like he's wearing the same kind of clothes as the oh, person in the image, know. but... Oh, yeah. I mean, lots of people look like they wear this sort of clothes. No, didn't so I get an image of, like, a beast with scales? And then kind of a face that was feeding... Oh, right, so he was feeding the thing. Well, he that's may have, right. we don't know. Yeah, no, no, that, I'm trying to remember the yeah. picture in my head. Like yeah, he told you the feathers are part of the trial. Yeah, but this was asking what it comes of. Here you go. In the mountain, up on the mountain. Um, look, my uncle's not here at the moment. Um, Where is he? He said if the villagers turned up that they had to solve the riddle and then I can tell them things. Okay, cool. Um, well, then. Well, then. <laughs> Let us not break the rules. Like okay. I've already broken um, your chair. <laughs> okay. So Does he probably yeah. have the same voice as the do the voice from the Kinker? Not really. There's there's a very difference in age sound from the voice. From that gruff to the yeah, thoughts. Yeah. Right. Cool. I'm stealing his friend. <laughs> um. I, have, I have been given permission to take you on a quest. <laughs> Come friend. <laughs> the, the, the guy walks over to the bookshelf and picks out a couple of books and starts rubbishing through things and puts them back and comes back with a piece of paper and he goes, um, okay, so the, the, the quiz that I'm supposed to ask is knowledge holds many secrets. Tell me why you should be seeking a beast and where the knowledge should lie. Why I'm seeking a beast? And where the knowledge should lie. And he goes and... Are you still sitting on the broken chair? Well, I'm sitting on the ground. With a piece of wood under my ass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but he, he, got, he, he goes and um, takes the one of the other chairs from the table and moves it right back to the back of the room. Leans it up against the wall and just kind of sits down onto it and just sits there. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's just solve how, the quiz. How long do I have? I don't know. It doesn't say that you've got a time limit. I'm half tempted to like stick my head out the door and say, "We succeeded," and continue to walk down. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, True wants answers. A There's a mystery going on. Yes, um, to go chill, vandal something. <laughs> to aid. Where should the knowledge lie? Within people. Within the mind. 
I understand the power of the mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can do many things with mine. I'm sure it's just getting more and more you've, frustrating. You've, you've got to result. use the clue to... Oh, can I stop some I'm very much a... Kind of flat out. What, what was that? Oh, um... Well, you've got to use the clue to... Dot, 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 dot. Um, you've... The, the, clue, the, the, the clue opens up a path. You've got to find the path. It's, it's part of the trial. It's um, just stop pushing my hand again. How strong is the wall? It's basically a, a wooden hut. Okay, like so if I put a bit of pressure on it, it's not going to fall. It's not gonna, you're not going to push <laughs> over the entire thing, no. It's, yeah. it's a lot more sturdy than the village of huts. A single I see it's like maybe with the books, maybe. Push it books. Um, I go and actually inspect the books. <laughs> like well, read one, each one, one part of the, like the title. If you start doing I stuff, can, I, I will stop you. <laughs> Just don't have to touch anything. You are not part of the trial. I'm not doing the trial. <laughs> as far as you know, I'm just looking at books. I lived in a library. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm off to have a nosy at this book Detect collection. Detect magic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Detect so magic. magic. First. <laughs> okay. Is that just it? Just happens. Yeah. 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 Uh, the full uh, rules for it is, I think. The rule. I think, I think you could tell what magical things or something like that. Eh? There's a. If you take magic and identify as well. Uh, okay. That's right. Um, what's the range on it? He's like, uh, Matt will tell you in a moment. Something like that. Room. I feel like it's something You like sense the presence of magic thirty feet uh, within thirty feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object. So uh, it can penetrate most barriers, but it's blocked by one foot of stone, an inch of common wood, or three feet of wood. Uh, sorry, an inch of metal or three feet of wood. Got okay. it. Thick. So if it's Starts doing what he does to cast magic. His eyes go zoom for a second, and he kind of looks around the room. Um, you look over through the the side of the room where the, that one doorway is, and there's a bit of a magical aura that comes from that room. And then, as you pan your head over to the bookcase that Drew's been attempting to walk in, there is a glowing magical aura from behind the bookcase as well. As long as he's not touching anything, I won't pick it Any up. specific, like, book that mm. looks out of place? Oh, or book. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just to confirm. Um, no, the, it's it's just... Uh, the bookshelf isn't like a full thing of books. Oh, okay. There's like a bunch of... Rent. It's, it's clearly like maybe a couple of books someone's brought along with them. Okay. And there's magicals there. And there's magical... Yeah, I mean, like there's a magical aura coming from behind the bookcase. I am still like my brain's ticking over different words and slowly oh. pressing on different pieces of the wall. <laughs> uh, Fitz will try and pry it from the wall, like try and shuffle it. I mean, like, oh. Oh. Wait, so Fitz, Fitz, Fitz is going to attempt to pry <laughs> the bookcase from the wall. No, that might be slippery. Oh. Carry on. So, so what did Fitz do? He's trying to move. So you walk over to uh, Robbie Strength? <laughs> Can I use acrobatics on Why he's doing that? I'm just, you know, random books. Reading the back of them. Oh, what's this about? Yeah. No. <laughs> just a note. Uh, 14. It's one of the things I did. <laughs> okay. Um, that wasn't terrible. Fitz scrapes the bookcase as Drew's sitting there sort of looking at books and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> as Drew's standing there, the bookcase just goes <laughs> around him. It's basically a shelf with shelves on it. And it just falls to the ground. Like, and Drew is now, yeah. And Drew is <laughs> now standing in the middle of this fallen over bookcase. Fits all sort of turned towards the, yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the human sitting in the chair goes, ah, uh, uh, just kind of sits there, just. <laughs> I, I just look over him. Don't you're you not allowed to say a thing. <laughs> that did not just happen to you. You cast a spell. Fits all look at it. And you cast me on it, but it's not gonna like pick it up or anything like that. It's just gonna. Mm-hmm. What's, what's he doing? Mending. 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 It'll on be the fixed on the ground. <laughs> like, you, you cast mending, and one of the shelves goes. Not just like, <laughs> slight adjust as I step out of it. <laughs> smart, smart <laughs> stupid guy. I'm just on Oh, yeah. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll watch you. You're in the center of attention. 
Yeah. You're currently doing stuff. You can't carry on. How long does detect magic last? Um, so this ten seconds or something like that, or is it? Oh. Uh, thank you. Passing time for an action, ten minutes of concentration. Okay, yeah, so the aura that was behind the bookcase is still there on, on the wall now. You start pointing. Mm-hmm. Yours is that. As he flicks through the book. At me? At him? Who are you pointing, pointing, at? pointing at? the wall. Yeah, but the who wall. are you like, gesturing? You're pointing well, at the wall. He's walking towards I think like, to everyone. whoever is going to pay room. attention, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll come along and I'll push a little bit of pressure like I'm doing on every other section of the wall. Let's just push it. And I'm just like, don't break pick anything. Up, pick up whatever's left Else. on the ground that will <laughs> hold to put against the wall. This guy sits in the corner and just kind of loosely like this, just watching you guys just do this, just going in very slowly. Every, every time you seem to go near the wall, he kind of twitches a little like he's noticing something that you've discovered because he doesn't know if you've detected magic. So, And then you'll stop doing something and he'll kind of get confused again just watch you guys. Shall I make an entrance? Don't break anything else. I was asking Fitz. <laughs> Drew still heard it. <laughs> can always mean to leave it. Understood. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Attack or strength? No, there, w- there, was, there was one other door, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you miss yeah. this, I'll crack it. I won't miss, I just won't yeah, roll, penetrate. Um, roll, roll, uh, not a good enough reason to use the front. Was, was, <laughs> that the, was that the door we came for at the start? No, no, the, the, okay. the room had a door that was always seen to us. So, so while, while Fitz gets out of the way, while Lucky just going kind to of bash down this uh, wall. 23? Yeah, no, that'll have roll damage. While, while that's happening, uh, Fitz will get out of the way and inspect the uh, other door. Out the way? No, no, no. You're attached to my arm, mate. Eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. like grabs you by the head, blade so, yeah, comes yeah. out on top. You, are you just going to try and open it? No, 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 no. It's, it's locked. Okay, mate. And, and he goes, no, 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 it's not in there. Comes some voice from the side of the room who's just clearly in mental pain from watching everything. <laughs> what? Uh, so, so what's in there? He said, uh... It's, it's, it's a... <laughs> Bedroom? Reverse psychology? No, 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 it's it's uh, just a bedroom. Prove I just it. wander straight over, prove open it. the door and look in. It's, it's locked. locked. Oh, uh, prove <laughs> it. Unlock this. <laughs> I don't trust you. I don't have the key. Hold on, you're trying to touch something? You're not allowed to touch something. <laughs> Let's look at his little... Uh, How many times are you attacking this room? Um, uh, unless I'm stopped, I will make a hole. Okay. Fitz will get his little claw out. He's just rolling into a hammer. Mm. They're mending it apparently. Only so how long it takes me, how many hits it takes me to do it if you want. Fitz, let me know when you get to 30 damage. Now. <laughs> um, AC of like 10, 11? It's 12. 12, good. Okay. That's all I need. Fitz will get out of his little... You're, you're attacking it with your side weapon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. and Bladed, punching straight through a wall. Yeah. There's slowly just chunks coming out as my fist just keeps going. Fitz will get out his little claw. He's going to try and pick this lock. He's going to try and pick it. Okay. I have these tools, by the way. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a master. I do, I do as well. I just oh, find okay. it like, role, role playing wise. Yeah, no, cool, cool. Let's start. What would be uh, six? How many attacks have you made so far? I'm on seven now. Okay, hold on. 21. Hold on, hold on for a second. 21. 21? Yep, no, so he puts, looks at it as a block, but then goes and unlocks the door. It's up and he's like, oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm like, oh. He walks over to try and like pull you aside for the door. No, no, no. That's, you're While he's to... doing that, I'm going to try and get that riddle off him. What, steal the piece of paper? Yes. We know what the piece of paper says. Does, does it have like the answer on it maybe, though? Ah, so you don't know. Roll, roll slide hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. 13. Are you going to try and grab the piece of paper from his hand? He goes, no, um, no, you, you, you can't do Why this. that's happening? I attempt it. <laughs> and he starts doing this to hold his hand behind him like this. Oh, I missed. We'll trade then. I'll, I'll let go of the star. Okay. Just, just, no, no, just, can you all stop, I'm like, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll back off with the book. Really so. Okay. As soon as he says, could you all stop, I will and stop punching He just stands there holding his Okay, look, it, your friend's making a hole in the answer, okay? It's, it's, it's behind the wall you're supposed to work out the clue and just. I know it's behind that. the wall, that's why he's hitting it! <laughs> Understood! Good, good! Renew We're just killing time now. 
Uh, and I wander off to like the nearest seat and sit down. Yeah, Continue okay. the book. <laughs> mm. I could blow up the wall. Let's, How much damage have you done so far? Uh, so I'm at like, what was it, 6, 6, 5, and a 3, so that's 12 and 11, 23 damage. Total? Yeah, it's up to 7. I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the hole that where? you've been carving out no, is carved out to the point where you could probably fit Drew and Fizz through. What the beast is? So it's a, there's an opening, and you can see in front of you that there is a tunnel. Start smashing down the rest of it, kicking it. I think I found the entrance. Oh. Bash! Bash! What was it really Bash. again? <laughs> <laughs> Not that it really matters at this point. Why are we finding just these? And we have we'll, we'll be going. Tried. And I chuck the book at him. Bash, bash. So you throw the, the book at him. Throw the book at him and we'll be going. Just, just, Thanks. Just, my uncle's down there. Please don't fight him. At least. You guys are I, I'm not leaving yet. I don't fight anyone. Jesus. <laughs> I stop. I turn around. I go outside. One moment. As, as you were doing that, he goes and picks up the broken pieces of chair and starts putting them on the table. Kind of. Putting all the broken things together so he can stop. Fitz, 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 around it. Fitz, please fix that for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fitz, okay. Fitz will cast some MD on it. Um, at which point I will go and find my friend. I think the Tinker was currently sitting on the Tinker. Sorry, the Kinker was currently Tinker. sitting on this post still. And a butterfly flies past you. Tinker! <laughs> Hello, friend. Hello, friend! We are going to find. Your other friend, down below. Come, you have permission. Negative. Hurry up and do the garden work. We need to tell him that you're finished. Negative. Pick him up. <laughs> put him on my shoulder. Oh my God. Are you going to grab him? Just try and roll to grab him. Pick him up and put him on my shoulder. I want my friend. Uh, what is it? Stir dirt. Uh, no, I'm just doing a. I'm, I'm rolling Herder. against because he's trying to bounce off it. So. Um, okay, if, no, as I go to grab him, if he goes to no, 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 no. Yeah, you go to grab him, he jumps off the thing and jumps away. From, no, negative, negative. It sort of walks back into the garden a little bit. Can I, can I attempt to try and put a foot on his perch? On his head. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not going to actually put all my weight in the About this it'll point, you're just wondering where the hell he's got the turn. Just come outside. So, will it sink if I put a bit of weight on him? Yes, pop? it will start sinking. If uh, is that a yeah. luggage? Friend. No. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> Come. He has a job to do. So do you. Affirmative. <laughs> turn around, wander straight back and I will return. Affirmative. <laughs> Back on <laughs> uh, it, it's exactly the same tone because it can only be like so it's it's a verb of pops back on but it doesn't look very happy about what's just happened. So you guys walk back inside. Is Fitz gone through this hole now, or is he just waiting? Mm, Fitz will go through. Have you got mending as well? No. This is why I keep trying to stop you from breaking shit because I can't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, I'll... and I keep getting in trouble for it. <laughs> Unless he gets too far ahead of us, I'm going to pull him back to fix the, the statue break. Try and fix the wall. Wanted to pat it. <laughs> Fitz, could you repair this too? Pointing at the hole in the wall that we've just walked through. Maybe after. Affirmative. Okay, you 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 got to have a way out. Yeah, thank you. The <laughs> goblin was about to say, thanks for that. <laughs> if you want to do it yet, I can make it a way out instantly. I did seven physical attacks on it to do that damage. I could just blow it up in one. You, you hear a bit it's, of scuffling things from the back of the hut. Uh, Fitz will poke his head through a hole. Does this uh, count as a pass? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... It's just... My uncle's down there. Go talk to him. I think there's yes. <laughs> you you so said, dumb. if we I'm like, affirmative! <laughs> you would answer questions. I told you I would tell you where he was if you figured Negative. it out. Negative. You told us you would answer questions. Then we figured it out. I want to talk to you weird thing, okay? And he walks and stands back at the table trying to figure at out. At that, a is. goblin head pops out and just yeah. glares at him. <laughs> I, I'm, He's not seen a war forge before. <laughs> I'm offended. 
I give a kick at some piece of wood and I walk through. I take offence to things like little, little people too. <laughs> <laughs> just like that little tiny piece of wood that I didn't kick off and thought it would be nice. It's too. A rump! Like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> My version of a rump. Um, yep, yeah, go cool. walk down. You got some. Uh, is it pitch black? No, it's low light. I don't know if you guys have. I have no version for dark vision, so oh, I, don't I can't see shit. I got 60 feet. So luggage is currently walking blindly down the tunnel. Well, blindly. Are you uh, turning his head as you can? I, yeah, I was going to say, if I'm able wall? to be on top no. of him, then yeah, I'm guiding him. Okay. I just like slap my arm onto one side of the wall and start walking. Mm-hmm. I've just got cat vision. You're staring this. I'll let you know when to stop, buddy. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Blade into the wall. Continue. Pits, Pits will be walking ahead. <laughs> Good. At least we had that tested. <laughs> I suppose if Endowed, he'll just crush you. So you guys walk for about five minutes down this tunnel. Roll me perceptions. Those who can see. Disadvantage. Well, I can see this far. <laughs> Depends on how Dis- much low light we have. Oh, yeah, that's on a thingy. Yeah, say. that's a cocked. That's the one. Aww. Can that be a cocked? first 20 of the day. <laughs> I stopped paying attention for a brief moment. Aww. I rolled a one. I got eight. Fear them. There's a tall one you guys. You guys are walking. Lavage has no idea what's going on in front of me. It's alright. Currently neither do I. <laughs> yeah, but at least you can see. I like closed my <laughs> eyes and I was like... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does that mean I hit a wall? I probably hit a wall. <laughs> we probably went a little bit closer. <laughs> odd, odd, odd or even. Odd or even. Uh, uh, even. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you you walk in. Luggage stops briefly for a second, and you kind of open your eyes and realize luggage has just happened to have stopped because his arm shrank a little bit because it t- turned a bit in the tunnel, and you were almost walking into a wall. Oh, and, and you, re- you readjust the walk. You got to readjust so he's walking again. Yeah. This is why I need mastery of light and darkness, <laughs> so I can cast a light. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have some form of light. Nope. You can explode feathers. Uh, funnily enough, I think sanctuary gives light as well. Carry on. Hmm? Do you say that out loud? No. Damn. <laughs> um, you got you guys walk a bit longer, and it just fucking you, you all kind of. Fitz, Constant. you notice this first compared to these two. You notice there's a little bit of a light just around a corner. Fitz will start walking a little bit quicker now towards it. <coughs> Do I notice his okay. steps pick up? See. Light luggage notices this and sees a small silhouette of Fitz block his light. Hey. And now we can't see again. It's dark. It was bright. <laughs> because yeah. Fitz is blocking the light. I want to be slightly sneaky though. Like how? Okay, so roll a stealth. When you say blocking the light, as in there, there was a bit of a corner. Ah, okay. I was going to say, I'm like here. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to block stuff from me on a little man like that. Eight. Rolling stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Uh, you can't roll stealth. You're on my shoulder. Yeah. I'll roll stealth. Yeah, like it. would be like, more a case of can they see me on you? <laughs> hey, Fetch. Well, I'm not rolling stealth. He's going for an on your back, maybe. He no. <laughs> just like slides back. Arm on the neck. <laughs> that was a 13. The good news no, is... No, we can see the goblin. Not sure. If you're... Um, like doing the whole piggyback style thing, I don't have a proper throat, so it won't be like <laughs> if you're hanging all the way back. So Fitz pops his head up to the light, and you pop your head around the corner, mm. and roll me a perception with you there. Are you guys going to walk right up to the corner with them all? I haven't been told to stop. Mm. I'm walking all the way. I was told there was a man down there to go and talk to. No. <laughs> I'm not interfering with the trials. <laughs> <laughs> four. I am ready to bounce off okay. him as soon as possible. <laughs> so four for you. You look into this room and you can see in this room it has bits of sort of red light in different areas of it that seem to illuminate small sections of the room. Now the room is a little bit brighter. Uh, roll me perception luggage. I see everything. Luggage. Finally got an actual twenty to go count. Light luggage walks around the corner and looks into this room and can tell these little bits of lights are more of these feathers that appear to have been jabbed into the sides of this cave. Looks into the middle, and there is a guy standing there, like this, in the middle of the room. Dude, you didn't and even see the guy in the middle of the fucking room. <laughs> you got a four. You blind-ass yeah. bitch. Um, 
Also, with that natural twenty, you recognize this guy immediately, and even the posture he's standing in. Is there also a big thing in front no, of him? No, there is nothing in front of him at the moment. There is just, he's just standing there like this. Is he really? Wait, I see him. Now, right. I have yeah. found another friend. Suppose you me being right oh, on top. He turns and looks and goes, Duh! Sort of oh, I, I, I will. Greetings. Hi. What are you? I am luggage. Oh, sorry. Apologies. You said what? I am a warforged. Um, Sentient being of earthly. Um, okay. Composite. Cool. How did you come in here? Well, they're trial masters, aren't they? Door. Wait. Who said that? She's <laughs> <laughs> like, turn around. See? <laughs> ah, <laughs> goblin. Oh, goblin. That guy pulls oh, out oh, friendly a goblin. crossbow and aims it up at you. Red. Redded goblin. Uh, like, learned. <laughs> I don't care if you do that, but we just summon a trial. Just letting you know. Is he, like, close enough for me to bat? <laughs> 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 he's just kind of... Okay. Turn back um, around. You, you're not the normal lot that come in here doing the trial. You can, ha! You, what gave it away? <laughs> you can peek over my shoulder. You're speaking quite well Indeed. compared to them. I would so, think so. And thank you. Three horses. <laughs> I know. Multiple languages. It's, um, that is. It's not because we're not really human. Where is the beast? <laughs> beast? The beast. Well, that's part of the trial. I guess. Okay, well, show us the beast. Show us the beast. Look, this okay. is a big old island mystery, mate, and I want to know what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. And he sort of walks up to you guys and sort of goes, okay, I guess if you're going to be doing this trial, I might as well do it properly, see how it goes. Were you asleep earlier? Me? Yes, you were holding your hand. No, I... Yeah, not moving. Opens out his hand and he's got a bunch of like bits of grain and stuff in his hand. Flip the top of my head open, <laughs> pull out our um, some rations that we grab from some point. There's a ton of shit in there. Okay. And just be like, uh, you've got to do it in the middle of the room. Why? Was it per- is, was he perfectly <laughs> actually in the middle of the room? What's that? Like, was he mathematically properly in the middle of the room? He was, was, he, he was like, the room kind of craters down a little bit, so it seems not so much mathematically, but it just seems to have gone to the centre of the room. Logical spot. In the middle of the room. So I'm like, still on him as well. <laughs> so. Okay, sure. Turns to Fitz. Are you joining in on this as well? I will feed the beast. I am. <laughs> Should, should, I, should I not okay, be on he, here, he, maybe? He, he gives you some... This bird seedy kind of stuff in your head, so go copy your friend. And poor, turn around. He is not part of the trial. <laughs> he will observe. I'm still on top of you. No, you're hanging from my back, so sorry. He. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Um, uh, I should get down so I don't get eaten? <laughs> yeah, if you're going to observe, I guess come up and stand here. I don't wander over to him. Okay, cool. What kind of furnishings are in this one? It's like a cave. Just a, it's a cave with rock faces and things like that. It's a cave, man. It's a cave. <laughs> Where do you sleep? Just a cave. Up in the I, hut. <laughs> I live in the hut, you... Where does what your are... nephew sleep? <laughs> Drew's just like, you can call him a moron, it's okay. So it's only, <laughs> it's only one bedroom. He, t- he turns to Drew, who seems to be the only one who knows what's going on. Look, um, the trial goes, you'll find out when it arrives, come back and talk to me, and you'll be given your class, but I'm guessing you guys won't be taking those classes, but it's, it's how they figure things out. <laughs> Monocle comes up, top hat. I already have a class. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, okay. And then makes this massive whistle, turns and wanders back down the cave and pulls out this little torch, like from a feather thing and just wanders down the cave and goes, see you when you're done. I, oh, so he's now left and turned around on the He's turned around and left out of the cave, yeah. This so is, is there echo. another part? Like, does this cave just keep going into blackness? No, uh, it's, you're on a... Like, so you, so you went back the way we came? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is there a hole oh. of us? Um, he's not going to be very... So this, this whistle echoes around the cave. Oh yeah, just as he's walking up. Sorry about the hole. <laughs> Probably a perception. <laughs> In about five minutes' time, you will hear him saying, the hell happened here? <laughs> <laughs> Only you. Nice. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> the, um, the, the room starts to brighten a bit. Yeah, I can see. As, <laughs> one, as, as one of the rocks on the side of the wall moves slightly to the left. Mm. And this red figure pops out around the rock and perches itself on top of that. <laughs> Did you throw the food at it? Logic dictates it wants food. I have food. And <laughs> 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 just like, ah! <laughs> sure. Okay, right? Um, it won't roll it, roll it, attack. It won't bite my hand if it's not a sneer. If you held your hand out, it wouldn't bite your hand either. <laughs> uh, attack? Yeah. Uh, 19. Oh, Jesus. That's a bit of a miss shooting. That's oh, not Jesus. including proficiency. Oh, it's Jesus. Just, yeah. So this, this, this feed goes... And hits this phoenix looking thing in the face and the food immediately engulfs in flame and this thing looks down at you and goes ah! and, this, to me. and it, it goes from looking calm to a bunch of its feathers just sort of lifting up behind it and two massive dragon wings pop out from its back and this creature slowly transforms into a small red looking dragon about the same size as the luggage. Okay. But, but, com- but completely engulfed in flame. You pissed it off. I'll grab another Bye. piece of meat and hold it up again. And I'm gonna call for a break there, because you're gonna be fighting next. <laughs> you're not allowed in the trial. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. You should have In a world that is stemmed from the mind of a madman, a dwarf. I am entering a maze. <laughs> a maze underground. A cat. Just a fun little question. Do mushrooms bleed? A lizard. So we should kill him first? An elephant. You know, I, I almost care about um, everyone else. And a cow? No, I'm wearing no armor. <laughs> I'm a barbarian. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, they band together to fight and escape the drow infested deep down under to bring news of a new threat. This is the tale of the Guardians of the Gygaxi. Hey nerd, do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Of course you do. Do you like people with New Zealand accents? Of course you do again. Well, what if we told you there was a podcast that did both of those things in equal measure? Guess what? Here is. Wake up, bucko. It's called The Fate of Ice. And it's your new favourite tabletop role-playing podcast. Except for the one you're obviously already listening to, which is awesome, by the way. I'm Brad, the DM or Dungeon Master, and here's the Apple Squadeth, the heroes of our tale. Hello, I'm Ben Four. I'm a barbarian blood hunter. I'm a blood, death, mutilation, mayhem, chaos, friendship, and a nice sharp cheddar. Played by Oliver Scripps. Hi, I'm Jules, and I play Marley Craft, a saxophone playing half elf bard who is looking for her family while saving the world of Ison. Hi, I'm uh, Trestlespoon. I'm a, a rogue gnome. Uh, I like nice walks and cool evenings in the autumn uh, and spending time killing things, which seems a bit out of character, but it is who I am. I'm played by a human. Uh, I'm played by Josh Kingsford. Together, we roll dice, laugh a lot, 
and tell a surprisingly compelling tale about a plucky group of weirdos. Hey, who are you calling a weirdo? Who is swept up in a quest to quote unquote save the world of ice and there's action, excitement, and there's a lot of apples. Seriously, there's way too many apples. It's uh, it got way out of proportion. Weird as my mother's top lip. Join us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcast action. The Fate of Ison. New episodes every Sunday. Get with it. See you there. That'll do. just said earlier happy accident <laughs> uh, yeah so basically we're going right into initiative so uh, I got Matt's earlier it was 11, 11. Uh, what are your guys initiatives 5 <clears throat> uh, 23 ok uh, you two and your decks man but I've got like decent stats Across all, I need to give one to either of these to make them plus one. One to make them plus three. Two to make them plus one. Boo. So, my rolls would have been basically one, one, like zero. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you lucky I rolled those for you? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. That's not fair. Should we do it again? <laughs> okay. Um, first off is Drew. <laughs> and I exit stage left <laughs> I like go and sort of hide in the tunnel okay so I attempt to stealth yeah probably roll, probably roll, roll the stealth yeah, you're, you're, the hiding is your action <laughs> well, natural a, 20 <laughs> as a goblin bonus action hide it or disengage small stature then no more yeah, escape to, yeah oh sorry no that's dash or dodge. it's a it's a yeah, I feel like bonus action hides It's a broke, disengage so, yeah. thing. But uh, yeah, so what was it? Natural 20 or? Yeah. yeah. What's your total out of that? Uh, it was my stuff. 23. Oh, okay. It's a good number for me. And you're in the dark place, so even I can't see you. I'm super stealth. You don't need your stuff, I can't see you anyway. Cool. The, uh, 
this now flaming dragon looks down at uh, luggage and fits roars now as opposed to squawks mm-hmm. and I need fits and luggage to make a deck save oh. as, as this thing breathes out fire and just blasts it <laughs> not fire ah, there's gelatinous uh, tunnel so good well I guess I'm burnt I got a nine what'd you get oh. some jerky <laughs> I, I got, I got a, a seven <laughs> I love how close you are even with the roll you got mm. Seven, and what did you get? Nine. Both of us failed. But yeah, both of you failed. Yeah, the minute the minimum suck at ten, usually twelve. Uh, so um, I'm on the floor dead. Um, no, you and I have practically the same health. Wait. Ah, uh, so you? you guys started full HP. Back, back to twenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, that's fifteen fire damage. So seven. As this thing blasts at you, and then oh, yeah. it, it basically it leaped off this rock, blasts its fire, and it sort of curves around and lands on another side of the room. He prefers cooked food, I think. <laughs> I um, food. It's now luggage's too. Really tempted to throw the cooked food. <laughs> I will put the food away if I can if not I'll just drop it um, and then I will uh, cast, what cast use my psionic talent for primal fury charisma safe uh, 21 that's a pass <laughs> that's it that's it nothing happens no it didn't happen so is it half on the fail on a succeed here's one I'm gonna succeed on that no yeah cool. no. that's me done yeah that's you're up oh as reaction blades to plus two to my AC yeah so I'm a 19 now yeah. <laughs> this is gonna Sort of run to the uh, cave entrance. Oh, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> okay. You hear that as you run, too. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> From the shadows. <laughs> He's still got, like, some flames on <laughs> <laughs> The cartoon physics Were you cat. holding any of your feathers? <laughs> I wasn't holding any feathers. Well, so okay. he, he gave Were me some feed. Like, the random shit that we got? No, nah, n- none of the oh. random shit you got had feathers that on. That would have been nice. That'd be on fire. Well, I think most of the shit that I had is now burnt. Probably. No. Was, I had the feed he gave me. <laughs> so you're running with a feed like this. <laughs> <laughs> throw it! Throw it! <laughs> I think it's still hungry. <laughs> it didn't seem to eat too much. It doesn't seem too hungry for me! <laughs> Pits is just going to toss it to the ground. It's just, nah. I mean, he's going to turn around and he's going to try and shoot at it. So you bring its attention to me, <laughs> and then he's gonna, sh- sh- and then he's gonna call out towards the cave. Are we meant to kill it? <laughs> I like wait towards the parlay towards that on my next turn. Back, 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 the, back, back the cave, like the passage up, yeah. up my way to the yeah the cabin or whatever yeah. it is, the hut. He's thinking <laughs> towards the cave. I don't know. I'm like, as knowledge as you are. Good part. Keep forgetting what, like. I just presume it'll be, um. Are you plus four, like, dicks. To put your shit. I think it's dex. It's dex plus proficiency. Because oh. you're proficient with your gun. So What's your roll? Plus six. Okay, 19 then. Yeah, no, 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 no. Shh. Shh. Sure, sure. Shh. I know. Thunder. I'm gonna use Thunder Monger. Okay, yep, that is the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then one D four. Oh wait, no. It's just enough on the piece. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you're proficient with nine it. Nine damage. So it's dex plus proficiency. So yes, it is nine. Plus nine. six with your gun. That's pretty nice. Yeah. He got it. Pew! It does nine damage. Wow. <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> half dead. Well, actually, you're probably half dead. I'm definitely dead. Yeah, well, at least we've got enough noise for the guys up the road to hear. So, I remember to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Loops. Oh, yeah. This music makes it's me feel like I'm not going to die. So it's, it's a not... free thing. <laughs> it's never going to die. It may be like a slightly altered version of it to make it legal, but it's definitely. Oh, it's a it's a free thing from um, Kevin McCoy. It's the same stuff that Critical Role started with. Yeah. So that sounds familiar. I remember it being on my phone while I was playing. Um, this music makes me feel like we're not all gonna die. So I'm not dying, okay? I'm getting Drew, the fuck out of here. Drew, you're up. <laughs> I don't die. Yeah, I sort of... Um, you get past, because we're pretty close, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, he's basically run to the entrance where you are. He yeah. can't see where you are. But... Yeah, out of the darkness just comes the screen while. <laughs> and you, I'm just like, you might need that. <laughs> and then, with my movement, I sprint back up the, the tunnel. tunnel. So you submit out of the tunnel. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, yeah, trying to get up to the hut to be like, uh. <laughs> help, help, help! And I'm calling out. I think they did it wrong. Just me standing in the middle of this cave looking at the Um, so this, this, <laughs> this, this, this thing kind of, having taken this blast in the chest from Fitz, just sort of shakes off, looks at Fitz in the corner, and looks at luggage. Looks at Fitz. Flies down, and flies down at the luggage. <laughs> Might want to quit that. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to just run out. <laughs> Did you guys? Coif is the... Uh, 18 hit? Nope. Nope. No, 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 19. This thing just goes and bites onto your shoulder and goes and sort of lands back in front of you. That's not it. Hello, <laughs> friend. Ah. Just checking if this is just a single of it. No, okay. Yep. And it stares at you and just kind of growls. I'll grab. This time I will flip top lid, pull out a piece of more food, and just. <laughs> I will hold my reaction. I will hold my yeah. action. Roll me charisma. Yes, I can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five. Okay. Uh, Fitz, you're up. I guess I'm gonna have a little. He was. I guess I'm gonna have a little. Let's do it. Gonna, I guess I'm gonna have a little chug. Uh, how still. much does it heal me? Uh, um, it's uh, about your down. height. One day. So I'm gonna have to do this. Doing this is above its head. Uh, so you're doing it from the chance, dude. No. Yeah. It's like you'd be feeding someone. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven. So you just change that. Like, no, so he's just killed himself. <laughs> there you go. It was caught. It doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting like this. Yeah, I press the paper down. Because the way it was, technically it was this. So you just as Fitz just no, healed technically I it was seven. He just used a healing potion. Okay, yeah. so it's meant to be hitting it that way. Drew. I could see the seven. Yeah, it's technically it would have gone seven. But... It would have gone. I'll be fair. Well, that's a bonus um, action. You the, the, I'm yeah, continuing bonus. up. I need to get the horse guy's attention. So you're it's grabbing it's a bonus old. action, Sam. It's a bonus action? Oh, okay. So if you, yeah, I think oh, it's yeah, cool. somewhere about what you can oh, do. Oh, we know what I'll be doing. Can I, can I stealth as well now? <laughs> yeah, you can roll a stealth. Even that is an action. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'll... I was going to say, well, do you want to like move into the tunnel and then stuff? Yeah, move, yeah no, he's, move, he's move moving back. into the tunnel for stealth. That's how he's breaking the line of sight. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Alright, <laughs> uh, 12. Just look like oh. a statue sitting there with people. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, so Drew's running down the tunnel? Uh, yeah. 
Come on up. Help, help. They did it wrong. They did it wrong. It's fighting. It shouldn't be fighting, should it? <laughs> um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get further enough down, and this guy's only about halfway down the tunnel. He turns back and looks at you, and he's just like, What do you mean they did it wrong? <laughs> it's pissed off. Can you not hear the explosions and screams? What did he do? He threw the food at it. So he's fighting it. Yeah. Have fun. He turns it. Why does we kill it? Good luck with that. He keeps walking down the tunnel. So we're meant to kill it then? I guess whatever happens, happens. (laughs) I turn around and just casually wander back towards the fight. (laughs) I'm in no rush to get back to that. Uh, The creature in front of you? You're, you're holding the food out, looks at you and goes, and sort of sits up like a cat would, just props itself on its hind legs, and then in your mind, you hear, you don't know what you're doing, do you? You were far away, I needed to get the food to you. Now you're close, here is the food. Hungry? You, you watch as this creature's form goes from being Dragon starts transforming back into a bird. Fluffy! I would like to pet it. As that's happening, a spear out of nowhere comes flying and stabs it in the back and it goes (laughs) again and transforms back into a dragon formed again in front of you. Did it try and eat the food? (laughs) It was transforming back in some spear out of nowhere. It's just hit it. It's just just still food in my hand. (laughs) <laughs> no, he had a rapier. Oh. And he was told not to come down. He was told he had to stay up there. Me trying to grab him. I know it is. The only people I've seen with spears are fucking... Seals and tribe. Well, no, I was oh. thinking the cities. Um, that other tribe that comes to us to destroy it? I think. No, it's a fit. Oh, fit's in. Yeah, so luggage, it's your turn. Is it? Am I? Oh yeah, I am directly yeah. after it. Yeah. Um, can I perceive? You can perceive. Please roll to perceive. That's a nine. Can I know the direction of where this yes. thing came from? Behind it. Cool. I'd Behind like to it. hit a fireball against that wall. Basically, where, where it, it's tunneled come from, you know it's come from there. So you'll fire. <laughs> Fireball. Well, it's combustion, but uh, it's, okay. combustion. it's pretty much my fire. How does it work? Uh, it's a roll of sorts. Let me tell you. One moment while I open the right one. Oh, fuck's sake, I do it every time. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Where is mast? Mast. Force. Ooh. Fire. Uh, it is combustion. The. That one? No, detonation. There we go. Hmm? Uh, fire explosion within 120 feet of me. Each creature within 20 feet must take a con save. I think two of those. 13, that's an option. 13 is the save? Yeah. Cool. One saves, the rest failed. Are those the only ones we've got, really? What do you need? Four in here. There's at least two in there, I think. Here. I don't trust your plastic pots, but I will use them nonetheless. And if all of these roll over, we'll know they're crappy. Excuse you? Oh no. <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's at 12, 13. They got tainted by that metal 16, one. 16, metal one, got the one. Getting rid of it. Anyone else here doesn't know Super rich. 16, I think. 16, 24, and they are all not prone. <laughs> oh, three. Everything, everyone that failed takes 24 damage and is not prone. If they succeeded, they take 12 damage. And they're not, 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 not. And it's fire, isn't it? Yes. Fire damage, so that's you know, half of them anyway. But it's more of a. I'm not attacking the big dude, I'm attacking the thing that stabbed the dude behind me. It seems we have more company. I'm not there yet. 
Hey, Foots can hear that. He's right next to me. Um, yeah, Fitz, you're up. Fitz, who's sitting in the shade, has... Actually, roll me a perception to see if you see what's just happened. 19. Uh, roll roll 19. Yeah, so you, you, you have been watching as the spear, as you've noticed one of these tribe people that popped out from a rock and lobbed a spear down and it's hit this creature in the back, and then they popped behind the rock, and then boom, for the rock. Do you see any of them flop out? One. One just goes <laughs> out, out of the rock and just kind of collapses in the ground in front of him. Is he alive? Dead. He's prone. <laughs> Goody. Yeah. Real nice prone. So yeah. Yeah, I know, but one fell out. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, that was the other tribe guys. Hmm. I'm a little confused here. Who are we fighting now? <laughs> this is a friend. That attacked my friend. It's a friend. After he tossed it to me. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it was just reacting. Just, just reacting. Not just like a cat that scratches you. Now. Except this scratch is Bernie. It was just reacting. I try Down. not to take offense to that. <laughs> I rolled a natural twin, but okay, I'm gonna shoot the uh, shoot the prone guy. <laughs> oh, crap! Oh. <laughs> I think it had like two health. What is your damage? Oh. Uh, so I was gonna use Thundermonger, which. There's no actual drawback, so I don't know. I don't really get it, but it's just one extra 1d6. So it'll be 3d6. Okay, roll uh, damage. That's without. Roll damage, he might survive. If it's a crit, would it be. It'll be do- it's, it's, it's double your dice, basically, or roll your dice twice. Yeah, so it's 6d6. I rolled 7d6 last time. Mm. But it was halved by. I, I, I doubt he will survive based off that, but we will see. Well, as a minimum, that's six plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. No, it is. Yeah, six. That's a hit. I wasn't counting. I Twenty-five was... damage. <laughs> cool. Fitz. And does he Fitz. have the feathers on him? Fitz sees this and goes. <laughs> this guy kind of looks up, and then boom, it just drops. So the feathers fly right off him. Can I evaporates. call out, possibly, within this room? Uh, yeah, when you're yelling out, are you just yelling a statement in general? Stop attacking my friend, please. This bird is my friend. <laughs> are the tribes people part of a tribe? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the other tribe that wants to kill it. Yeah, they went to... Kill the beast! Yeah, what do you hear? Here. Not to... Fitz, the doesn't know. Fitz doesn't know, okay? Um, He's just drawing them. Uh, when it comes to my turn. Uh, Drew, you're up. Drew, you've made it by your nonchalantly walking, you make it back for your entire movement to get to the entrance to have heard most of this weird exchange. <laughs> pretty sure I more to myself than anyone else, I'm like, pretty sure I told them to stay the fuck behind. <laughs> I'm wandering how to sort of assess the situation. How's he how's he looking? Because obviously I don't know his real good point. Fitz? Singed, yeah. but no longer burning. <laughs> He so how up. many you've got left? 17 now. He's doing alright. You had a fire resistance, remember? I know, still. <laughs> that really hold on you have holy shit. Um, right. I mean, I'm on 20. Uh, yeah, I still That is not the beast! Like, I come out of the cave like... You don't know where uh-huh. you're yelling, but so you just... That's not the beast! Yep! This thing looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of shrug back at it. Roll with me, buddy. <laughs> Have you got any food in your hands? <laughs> oh, yes. Throw a piece back. Cool. Um, climbing out from behind this rock is a person wearing bits of proper looking armor attached to him with all these feather pieces all attached. Just slightly singed. And he is just slightly singed. Yeah. So stands out and pulls out this massive club looking great sword and goes kill the beast and pops down and runs past the beast thing club looking great sword it's a great sword but it looks more like a club i know what i'm doing um think kenshi you know the like cleaver style i'm thinking, he's just... I'm thinking like guts maybe yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it's it's it's, massive it's, it's weights uh, it, 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 for technical reasons it's a, a great sword but 
as a look, it just looks like a massive thing. It's just a orcish sword. Yeah, blunt and heavy. Yeah. It's a birthday sword. <laughs> I want it. I just keep thinking of Kenshi. And that big mouth electric. Chuck, 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 chuck. Aztec. Yeah. I haven't played that in ages. Speaking of playing things in ages. Mister, I'm gonna play Apex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this guy I've goes got a for you. and cleaves down the back of this creature as it goes, and its form starts to shudder a little. I'm like you, dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy, having cleaved it, turns, pulls the sword back, ready to deal what he needs to deal with. He's got bad right. Right. You murder him. I'll throw a healing thing on the bird. Ready to what? Deal with luggage when he slices him and fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then three more guys pop out from behind this cave, all holding different spears. You see, he had backup for me. I was going to be fine <coughs> if it actually became fun. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I don't like it when people say that. That was a twenty. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Okay, now this works. Pick a number. Between? Between one and six. Five. Two. One. Cool. Um, so the, the three guys come out. One comes out, lobs a spear, and it goes in between his own guy and the creature. One goes flying and smacks into the side of the creature, and it screams in immense pain again. Dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last dude, as he's coming out, slips a little and lobs his spear and hits the dude holding the great sword in the shoulder. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> Two friends. <laughs> One, two. Yeah. Oh. And now it's the creature's turn. This is difficult keeping track of multiple things, but hey. Um, this creature turns and bolts behind luggage, provoking an attack opportunity for the dude who, who misses and makes a swing at it. It, <laughs> land, it lands behind luggage, stumbles a little, and its form goes from being about the same size as luggage, shrinking down a little bit into a uh, Phoenixy looking form again, but this time it's about the same size as Fitz. Oh, it's quite a bit and, and it sits behind luggage and just kind of waits behind him using him as a human shield, essentially. Okay. Drew upon seeing that, so yeah, yeah, good man. <laughs> it's, I do that too. <laughs> it's luggage's turn. <laughs> Full base. Uh, I also range. will change my focus to my crown of rage, meaning that anything that doesn't attack me gets to unity. So if they try, if they try to hit my friend, they have a disadvantage to attack. So do they have to save against that, or is that just no, a thing? No, like saying, um, or uh, that's my focus just happens. Uh, the thing has to be, but the is it, it? yeah, anything, any enemy within five feet of me that makes a melee attack on something other than me doesn't okay. have disadvantage. Um, once I'm into melee range, I will take Mr. Broadsword with a spear in his side and slice him up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm too distracted. You're all like four. Yeah, oh, luggage, luggage goes to sense. slice at this guy who just pulls the sword in front of him and luggage's fist just stops at the handle and he's just like That would stop go it. through the metal there's a blade on top. Yeah, but your fist stopped in the sword. He stopped the momentum of the attack and he kind of pulls the sword back. Somehow the sword <laughs> Somehow the sword just got around the blade a little bit. Um fits. And I'm gonna shoot him. Which one is it? Um, the guy with the most feathers. The, the guy with the most feathers, okay. The, the dude with the massive great sword, dude. And I guess I'm this. Oh, jeez, guys. It would be a nine. So, I presume that this is. Yeah, that would miss. You, you fire, and there's this. <laughs> as the feathers on his shoulder, if we call it that, but he seems more focused on my at the moment. 
good. How close to Birdie Thing am I? Uh, Birdie Thing's basically nearby luggage, and between you and Birdie Thing is about 20 feet. The cave's full diameter is 40 feet, just for reference. So it's 20 feet to the middle, 20 to the side. 40 across total? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's screw it. Uh, 20 feet, I move up to the bird, I've got 30 feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Move, move up to it and pull out one of my green vials and like, yeah, drink. You just hit it there and then splash over. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Last time something smashed it in the roll, face, it was not happening. Roll an Oh, shit. Well, I don't have negatives, so that's good. Five. This creature kind of looks at you and just kind of confused where you've come from completely, just kind of this is one. moves <laughs> back from you and doesn't quite trust what you're doing or doesn't understand what you're With doing. With that, I just pour it on it. <laughs> so you just pour it? I'm just like, screw it. it then. I just pour it on top of him. <laughs> okay. Um, how does it heal? Well, the... the it's just whatever heals. Oh, uh, yeah, 1d8. The rules. I should or you should no, so you also, yeah, you should. Three must be a magic number on that dice. <laughs> That's uh, what three. I rolled and then realized I probably should let you roll it. <laughs> right. oh, it was clearly, it was meant to be three. Uh, third level, oh, sorry, 2d8. Hmm. Technically, should have rolled another one. Oh. Because at Good third one. level, I get 2d8, sorry. It's like the acid one. Oh, okay, add seven to that. <laughs> well, I was just getting that Oh, oh, wow. See, you were meant to have that seven. It was meant to be. <laughs> Twenty-four. Okay, I remember to do that one as one time. <laughs> but not my fire one. That's at four. Okay. Uh, the big dude with the great sword looks at luggage and goes, "Nah, no, the beast must die," and attacks you. <laughs> he's, he's very aggressively. He's, he's awfully intense. <laughs> I am not the beast. Beast monster. Beast either, no. No. Although. Uh, Twenty-two, I would guess hits. Bad. I feel like you're probably more of a beast. Sounds like a thing. master sword. No, I'm not a beast. Not a beast. So he's he's attacking beast. with a multi attack, by the way. So he gets two. Oh no. So you roll two twenties, yeah. This guy's a real boss. What's that? One attack, two attack. Yeah, the first one it missed. Ah. I rolled like a five, I don't think that would have gone on to win. Yeah. Um, he's got like plus four. Eight slashing damage. I think that becomes four. If you put down eight, and you go And almost at half. <laughs> almost at half. <laughs> <laughs> and the three, three behind it will pull out another slightly small sphere each, and two fire at um, the bird thing, and one fires at Drew. What the fluffers? Because you obviously aided the thing here. Yeah. <laughs> What's the distance between us two and the rest? They're right at the entrance still, so you guys are about 20 feet away from the end. The bad guys. The bad guys, yeah. They're, th they're about 25 feet away from Drew. And from me? From you, 20 feet. So it's 5 feet between us two. Oh, those, those, that's right, yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought I was in like the middle. Yeah, you're in the middle. Yeah. Like, you moved to attack the dude with the... Oh, did you actually walk up to the... Yeah, I right. had to move up to that's the bird. Because yeah. I wasn't willing to... Sorry, not really paying attention to the whole thing. On a throw. <laughs> Trying to plan moves before they happen. You healed the guy with the claymore! What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> Just throw it at me, misses. Does 17 hit? AC, to the top. Oh, yeah. sorry. What? I mean, you yes, must. sorry. Yes. Yes, it does. So I've got to discount as a ranged attack. It's not a melee attack, it's a ranged attack. Uh, and too far away from it. Five piercing damage as a spear hits. Hits you on the shoulder and just kind of. Um, the other two spear shots, one goes flying <laughs> past the um, the bird creature between you and Drew. The other one goes flying exactly the same location as the other spear, hits the other spear, and instead of the spear itself in front, 
It shatters. You rolled a one. So his sh- damper, his, sh- his, 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 his yeah, shatters. Oh, it's sh- because I thought it'd be entertaining. <laughs> uh, the, the creature, having noticed that you've healed it, kind of looks at you, and then in your head you hear, that's odd. You're odd. What? And then it, it turns <laughs> and bolts off into the other end of the cave and curls up at the other end of the cave. The other end being the way where we came from? Um, no, not where you, because where you came from is over here, mm-hmm. where they've been attacking is over here, mm-hmm. and bowls into the corner, and yeah. basically it corners itself. Sweet. Uh, luggage. Um, I would like to shuffle around my dope, around my bag guy, to put myself... Oh, sure, that recharge. Yep. Not leaving the area for a provoked attack as a oh, the breath, right. Um, kind of just, again, putting myself... As close as I can to in between me and everyone else in the bit. Okay. Just tip. So, I just like being in the middle. Um, at which point, uh, ooh. So you have you you are not moving out of combat with the dude with the. No, 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 no I'm okay. staying in combat with him, just like you know. Dip, 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 dip. Okay. Yep. To make it so that behind me he can see a big bird, and you know, I can see everyone back up. Uh. Just gonna go for another combustion. Well, I'll go for a combustion this time. Uh, con sav on Mr. Man. The dude in front of you? Yeah. It's not not um, my big explosion. This is combustion, which directly hits okay. me on the yep. uh, yeah. Give me the con sav. Uh, natural aiding. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's just reduced on the which is reduced even further by the fact that he's got fire resistance. Mm-hmm. Keeping these things in front of me is really hard. I found a couple of annoying. One d ten on a failed save, or where is it? Or half as much and does a dash back. Yeah, so just one d ten divided by two. Here's my 10. Here's my 10. Here's my 10. Can I get a flat roll, thank you? Here we go. Three! So, one. <laughs> <laughs> Take the higher of the two, if it's half, so it'd be two. And he's not on fire. Oh! And now he's on fire? No, he doesn't catch fire because he passed. Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. Uh, Fitz. Still hanging out in the entrance of the cave. I should have done that so much better. Um, Fitz will move to where the bird is. Sort of uh, in the path. So you can next to him or just in, in the way? In the way. It's going to be the same sort of step yep. if you Better get a lot of feathers from this trial. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rolled 14. Well, I rolled an 8, but. Yeah, shooting. Yeah, I'll shoot the big guy again. <laughs> no. I, I can deal with the big dude. Kill everyone else. <laughs> but he's got the boobs. I want You can guy. have him. <laughs> I'll take the abuse. Sure, you're up. Just like something about my healing drop, too. Those two now can't be healed by it again until they've had a long rest. Oh, I would just switch to Um. <laughs> Right, hang on, where are we at? No power mode in the middle of combat. Confused myself with study. <laughs> Your turn. Dude yep. in front of me still. Yep. Dude to the back. Yeah. He missed. He missed. Twice in a row. And I dealt one damage. Everyone's calling me OP. Um, <laughs> I throw a vial of acid. I think I can reach him from there. At the one that threw the spear that hit me. 60 foot, so yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're about 25 feet, so yeah. So that's I think it's 60. Does it roll to hit? So. No, it's a. Um, if it's a throw, it's a 30 feet. Throw, uh, but, yeah. uh, 30 feet in front of you. Uh, you uh, well, shatters on impact, feet. that's all it says for that. A creature must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or, or take the damage. I think. Eight? What? 20? 
I'm so confused right now. <laughs> You're gonna make me open it, aren't you? No, there's an action. You reach into your thing, pull out a vial, hurl a vial, the creature, the vial is kind of the bit. Well, shatters on impact, your creature must succeed a deck saving throw or take the damage. Yeah, so. Okay, so you succeeded. Yes. So you rolled a 20, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. So you throw this vial of acid. And he looks up and goes, huh? And as he looks confused, the vial acid goes, <laughs> 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 huh? We're doing bad today. Yeah. I'm slightly worried about it. Are early. You're also down a peri in a, a vandal because you don't want to bring him along. He wasn't part of the trial. <laughs> <laughs> you I've, I've, I've had to adjust it a little bit for the time we peri, but that's alright. Mm. Also, I, did, I love how I did both at the same time. We're in combat, and we got a friend. <laughs> Different combat. <laughs> um, luggage. <sighs> no, 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 no. One missed, and... Uh, 18? No, 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 no. 19, okay. So this guy swings at you. You kind of move slightly, and it kind of... Ooh. Slices sort of across the front of your armor, just kind of shaping it, doesn't actually do anything. So then he comes through to do another swing at you and swing over swings and kind of hits the pubble sword into your shoulder and kind of moves back and goes, Ugh. This is my seat, it is already dented enough. Cool. The uh, three guys who are right at the back of the cave spread out a little bit so they can move further into the middle of the cave. One goes for Drew, one goes for Fitz, and one goes for the bird. Kill the extras. Kill the extras. Kill... I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. I know you know what's happening. You always... You always kill the ads. Twelve. And the tank, right? Does twelve hit you? Uh, Thirteen hit Drew. And seven does not hit the thing. Oh, so three not. spears go flying through. And the three guys kind of all look at each other, kind of worried a little bit. Well, you killed the leader, I mean, the light. Um, the bird behind Fitz starts, its form spins a little bit more, and its entire form transforms into a small fire elemental. And it runs forwards. Um, I need Fitz, luggage, big dude. How close are you to luggage? Are you nearby as well? I was back of it. Back of it. Well, we said it was 20 feet to that dude and 5 feet behind to you. I'm just wondering, it's going, it's going from where it is straight forwards. I'm wondering whether you're in a Oh, oh no, no, I else. would be over here. It would be going like that. Okay. Because I'm still with the tunnel to my back. Okay, yeah, so you're on the side. So, um, can luggage and Fitz give me a deck save? Oh, it's gonna damage you. I'm facing the wrong way. I don't see what's happening. I don't move. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. Well, you might not get that. Mm. I'm not thinking of fire either. No, they won't see. He moved. I was like, cool. We'll fight together side by side, and he fucked off. Cool. Um, Fitz, kind of. Wait, are you? Are you in line with? I thought you were at the entrance of the cave, though. I moved. Oh no, that's right, you moved in on the front of it. Yes, oh, okay. So this thing transforms, you kind of look behind you and it goes boom! And it blasts you a bit with fire damage, you take um, 8 fire damage. Mm. And it runs through, smacks into through luggage. Luggage also takes five, um, 8 fire damage. Hits the big dude in front of you. Oh, and his feathers start engulfing in fire. And it smacks into the wall at the other end and reforms itself back into a bird. I should have just killed it. I have required no. a feeling. We'll start resting. Um, I'm luggage. Definitely Pro under half health. <laughs> With my turn. It's your turn. No, up. Oh. I will first of all swap back over to fire now that I've just been burnt, just in case for next time. Um, and I Against this one, I will just recommend to it. I'll actually talk to him first. The big dude in front of you? Again, I would recommend leaving this place. You are not succeeding 
And this is my friend. Roll me a persuasion. Ah. Hey! Finally. Uh, it's a nine, 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 ten. Ah, uh, the big dude kind of takes a step back and sort of re readies himself and he goes, But the beast and sort of looks back. It blocks the path now. We have it cornered. And he is just standing there. Uh, Fitz, you're up. Just listen to it. Come, come. I'm going to shoot at him again. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm judging you. Wait, are you shooting the big dude? Yeah. Okay, now I'm judging you. <laughs> well, you want the little ads gone? I want you to kill everything else. I've got this dude distracted. I want to know how much health he's got, though. Just another question, take out yeah. the ads, yo. It's like half your job. Remember how you took out, in like that <laughs> fight where there was like 20 nulls and you took out all the shit and then everyone else ran? I want to get the kill on the big guy. You totally saw. Go ahead. I'm going to shoot him a guy that's trying to throw a spear at me. And I miss. What'd you get? Like a five. Ah, yeah, nine. Bang! Maybe he's not losing. Uh, Drew, you're up. Yes, please. Do you need healing? I'm on like seven. Yeah, I prefer healing thingy I require aid. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, How many of those can you throw at it? Infinite. Infinite. But she can only use it once on a person uh, per short rest. Uh, for long that rest. Long rest for that person. Oh, so they're limited per. So you can use it unlimited on, on one person at a given time. Okay. Yeah. So if we had a party of like 50 uh, people. Also, do I roll that for yeah. does? You yeah, because you cast it. Yeah, cool. If there were 50 people, she could turn, spend 50 turns throwing out those potions. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> this men being working there. If a piece of me was broken I off, wish I'd yes. Sure. <laughs> but a piece of me is not broken but off. But that's right. I'll take that later. <laughs> uh, I'll take that off that. Thing. 20 to head luggage. That will hit. Oh. The, the big dude basically goes, No! The beast! And swings at you again. Mm. That's the second hit he's laid on me. I think it's about time I actually started slicing him. Rather than just standing there going, That's not very nice. <gasps> I keep forgetting. Mm. If I sacrifice my 19 AC back to 17, I can do two attacks. Damn, we need to Uh, it's 9 damage. <laughs> I require healing! <laughs> sure we can't just kill this big guy now? This thing in front of me. Yeah. I can, if you want me to, sure. But I'm just telling him to, I told him to fuck off, just in case. Because it's my friend. Leave me alone, fuck off. They don't want to, fine. Yeah, just kill them. They're clearly... Drew, does 15 hit you? Ooh, just... On a seat, we'll hit. <sighs> yeah. Um, seven damage from one of the guys who's walking around lobbing a spear and then one of the other dudes goes Nuh! and the spear kind of curves a bit and hits the big dude <laughs> yes. so seven it's the second one that's going to keep falling he's chink chink two he's got a spear in either shoulder now he should put some feathers on it he'll look like the bird um it's and then the creature yes. kind of turns back, looks at the group here, and just kind of goes. And it just kind of stands there. He's kind of dizzy. He's obviously stunned himself. Ran into a wall. Yep. It's just sit there and it's, it form kind of flickers again. Uh, luggage, you're up. Screw it. Double slice this cunt's face up. Try and double slice his face up. I don't want to be a double size bonus. Uh, so it's like a six. Are they like next to each other basically? Or? Two of them in one side, one of them in the other. Yeah, so there's one and two. And I do. Yeah. Six and a twelve. 
You assume that it's just a bzz, bzz, yeah, just standing in a slap, slap. It's like, it's just like. So I rolled a four. But, but, so but the sick one was a uh, ten? Ten, but it's with my offhand, which means okay. I don't get all of my stuff. Fritz. I'm gonna try and shoot the same guy. <laughs> now I can be hit easier. There we go. Eleven. 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 <sighs> He's just going. You make weird noise, Catman. <laughs> I'm assuming that's coming from the dude in front of you. It's the dude in front of you, yeah. He looks back at you, luggage. Um, you're up. You make weird noise when you get stabbed by your own spear. You make, a, you make a good pin cushion. <laughs> you run out of space yet? I think they normally carry about five, is usually the base. Sort of I'm actually using a weaker stat for them, um, using the logic of a crossbow. That's interesting. Yeah. They're, I'm using the stats of a crossbow, but they're holding these spears that aren't like full massive spears, they're like... They're javelins. Yeah, yeah. The book. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have... I think it's... 30, 60? Like 30 yeah, miles, 60 far, um, I've, I've, I've just basically had 30 as the max distance. I'm sure I have it too. Come on, Drew. What of the three guys off to the side look the most like after? They all look kind of Not the same, same, screwed up. See, um, I'll try an acid throw at the one off players. So it's a dick save, right? Fourteen? Oh, I think you just... Okay. I'll just double check. Thirty-one twenty. Uh, yeah, no, he, he saved. He had to beat thirteen. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, one d6. Oh, I've been rolling d6, so... Yeah, so it's just pretty, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> The, uh, the thing that would be changing is if it was proficient or not, but I assume that's got proficiency for crossbow, which would mean they have proficiency for javelin, so it's the same shit. Yeah. Um, but dude turns back to luggage. He turned away from me? No, he's turning, he's turned to Fitz and he's turned back to you. behind me. Huh? Fitz is behind me. Remember, it was a straight line. Oh, I so he turns back. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, he swings at you twice. Um... <laughs> It's a 17 this time. Might be. I'm about to fall down on the ground, guys. Both of these must. I'm not about to fall down <laughs> on the ground, guys. <laughs> two two swings have done it. Yeah. I can't do anything to help you. I am um, about to fall on the ground. There's three dudes. Although they seem to be helping us more than they're helping their friend. <laughs> cool. Uh, one dude lobs a spear at Fitz. Your AC is higher than 10, so I think it'd be okay. Mm -hmm. And one at Drew, which is also probably higher than 9. <laughs> Good, we're all doing shit tonight. And the last one goes flying at the bird thing. <gasps> That's not very nice. Good. Dare they? <laughs> Good. Good. Dabbing my friend. He burnt me, he deserves it. To be fair, it would be nice if maybe he did something. <laughs> he did. I'm black now. He also burnt me and Fitz. Taking the flash. Uh, the spear hits it and it goes. <laughs> So, what? From. You say, er, dunk. No, I just, er. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, it's not healed, <laughs> um, it, it cranks itself up a bit again and runs at the two bandits. I'm just, just picturing a chocolate ball. <laughs> it, 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 it runs at the two bandits, stops, and then breathes fire at them. This battle, this bird's done like 23 damage on them. <laughs> <laughs> this battle, I've done like. Well, other than my first fireball, I've done like five. Oh. <laughs> I made a solo. Cool, this, this bird thing goes brrr, and some of the fire from it as well kind of curves in front and blasts these two dudes as it stops and it sort of takes its breath. See? Take out the little ones. And it looks back at you guys and it sneezes. Jalapeno. Cute. <laughs> it, 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 it sneezes and then it swarm shrieks again. Skip, 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 skip. 
I prefer not to die. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it to die. Uh, so it's Luggage's turn? Um, I've already f- fired at it before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, him. Unless anyone hit you, or anything, another double stab. Yep. Another double stab! Hopefully this time I'll actually hit the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an 18. That'll hit. And that's a 19. That'll also hit. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the 19th missed. <laughs> 10. 10 total. Psychic. Psychic. Mm. Oh, yeah, my blade does psychic damage to people. And I think, is this the one where I get that? Have I got that level now? We're level 3. Uh-huh. I have to check. Can't That's what you're up. 10, but you guys go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this luggage goes, slice, slice. Both strike this guy in the shoulder, and he just kind of brings back for the pain, and just goes, but beast. Beast is friendly. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him again. <laughs> Someone else can deal with the other. Oh but my it god. doesn't matter who I go for, I'm just missing. <laughs> <Can we> roll? <laughs> <laughs> um, so guys, I've been gaining three hit points every single time. What? Huh? That's handy? That's good to know. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm now on what, nine? Nine more than what else? Wait, how many turns have we had? <laughs> Fireball, consumption, one, two, talk. <laughs> I do not require healing. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I didn't require her before. <laughs> that three hit points. That's just this one. Uh, Drew. G'day, g'day! What do you know? <laughs> Wait. Uh. It's still your turn, but whatever he's doing isn't relevant. Yeah. Um. So it's just the big guy and the little dude off to the side now, isn't it? Yeah, the big dude and one of the dudes off the side. Who wasn't near the other two. I just kind of glare at that one. <laughs> Throw the acid at the big guy. And as I'm throwing it, I'm like, just let it go! <laughs> Michael, just lay the pound. 21. So before. <laughs> you throw the acid, the big dude goes like this and puts the sword in the way. And it just shatters on the sword. I let him know. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> He turns back to luggage and goes, He <laughs> 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 looks very frustrated. You should be. Pain in my fucking arms. And takes another two swords at you. Come on! This is like the toughest boss we've ever faced. I remember it's the SSS 17 now. And neither of those will hit then. Yeah. He sort of swings once, and you sort of move slightly out of the way, and he gets out of the way. He swings again the second time, and the sword connects with you, but is missing power. As he pulls it back again, he's very tired. Here's a thorn when I need him. <laughs> Give it some power. Um, the other random dude on the side looks over at Drew, who's been glaring at him, and goes, and. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. That hits everyone in our party until I go. <laughs> yeah. Four damage. Ew. So he lobs the spear at you and it okay. skims off your shoulder. It just back at you. <laughs> Beast. Uh, Wait, no, it's Fitz, still not it? Yeah, it's Beast's turn. Yep, no, Beast's turn. No, you engage your turn. Beast. Back at the start again as such. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's Beast's turn. Beast's turn looks... He just kind of curls up with the brain and just kind of sits there and it just kind of starts heavily breathing. I really don't want to cast Combustion on it, but it's not a lot, mm. so I'm not going to kill it. Um, so it's Luggage's turn. 
How healthy is this dude looking? Pretty tired, pretty beat up, pretty on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and the sword is slowly being eaten by ass. I'm trying to decide whether to talk to him again and lose a turn, or I should just punch the cunt in the face. <laughs> yeah, why not then? We'll just become murderers. Beast like, is game. friend! Punch into Well, blade into I don't want to miss, so a 8 and a 13. Should have just gave him a real one side. Boom! Bang, bang. I'm not tired. <laughs> I can keep doing this all day. Fits. <laughs> fits. You know, he's just like, oh, oh we got, fuck. We got to I think my gun's busted because yes. I'm going to yes. dismiss again. <laughs> and he does. Can you do me a favour? Hold down. And then he gets another chance for some reason and he misses no, again. I'm not saying it's a chance, I'm just checking <laughs> it. Yeah, no. It's a <laughs> You take your shit again. I mean, he gets another chance for some reason. They're all Drew, he he action surges oh, twice. Drew, <laughs> you were meant Drew. to be the chosen one. Um, Can't keep dodging. This time to S. Surely, yeah. right? This time. I'm just wondering if some way to communicate with that flamey thing. I can't. It's not technically a bird. <laughs> I mean, it seems to understand some of them. You might have could just talk to them. I'm just trying to, like, think at it. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. Drew <laughs> can't do that. Um, anyway, I throw the acid at the guy. So, deck safe. Which one? The, the big one. I'm just like, mm. just kind of gentle ease off the glare. <laughs> 12. Alchemist fire? Fuck yeah! <laughs> could just throw some alchemist fire at it. Ten plus two. Might well, it's got resistance to fire. It might suck it up. That is correct. Ten plus two does equal twelve. <laughs> might like the fire. Ah, poor damage. Better than nothing. It's like smash. Part of his face starts kind of melting a bit from the acid hitting on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it? That's the little one in the background. Like no, it's the big dude. Oh, good. Okay. That makes you look pretty. Yeah, I think it uses fire. What? To heal it, you know? Ah, uh, that's what I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Alchemist fire, you know? Yeah, welcome to Hit it with fire, and I'll do it. The big, the big dude. Forced, yeah, the big dude turns to you, swings completely missing you, spinning around, and then smacks you down in the middle. Mm. Oh, crap. I roll a 1 and a 20. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice. Oof. Bit of a death move, really. Ah, uh, 14 damage. I'm still standing. Sweet. And then he pulls the blade out of your shoulder, essentially. He stands back and looks at you, and he's, he's about had it. The other dude looks over at Drew and goes, No! Not him! Fight me! He throws a little spear at you. This is pulling him out his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's his last one. <laughs> <laughs> Then, why do you want to fight? Does this it is last one. Yes. <laughs> Are you two going to have a fist spider? Six damage. Are you okay? <laughs> Twenty hits. Oh yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can still heal oh yeah, spell. definitely. Huh? Drew can still heal himself. Uh, oh. Sorry, I can heal myself too. It's just your passive. Well, no, the one that I just told you guys before was actually okay. wrong. That's cool. right. He turns and runs. Ha! <laughs> That's where he's different than me, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's random last election. Spare. Goes like this and goes, <laughs> turns and takes off. Yeah, you better run. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah. 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 you're up. The creature still sits in the corner, just kind of just sitting there. It's just. Sorry, right, just telling you what save you need to make. What should you maybe be gaining? Like, see, it works or something. 
Yeah, so that one is for a different uh, side class, but I do have another ability where if I use side points, I heal one. Oh, yes. Uh, charisma. Give me a charisma save on that motherfucker. No, 20. Can't. <laughs> Hey, can't use that language here. I sure can. Can't this is a, this is a family friendly uh, rip. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not. Christian I'm not holding back on swearing. <laughs> what? Is that it? Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> and then Fitz, he, start, he grabs the end of his gun and he's just like. <laughs> I mean, he tries again, and... <laughs> and you both go, what do you know? Oh. What do you know? It's a win this time, you pee. Shh, there you go. <laughs> Wait, who are you shooting at? Oh, let's just show we find out who I'm shooting at. Yeah, but are you shooting at the big dude or the little dude? The little dude's gone. Big dude. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> how many people He's are in the field now? He's sure going shoot little dude, big dude, big dude, you and Drew. Unless he somehow shoots, like, well, it's generally going to be in the same direction. No, he's still in the room, he just turned to run. Ah, I thought it'd be the big sword dude, the B, or the elemental, or whatever, or luggage. Because I thought they were in the yeah, same Yeah, no, sword. the three of them are in the yeah. same area. Okay. Um, Good, it's that way, but still. Luggage will be one and two. Big dude. Oh, are you going to roll it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to roll it. Two and three would be the big dude, and five and six is the big dude. Roll damage. Do I find the bomb? Roll damage. Do I find the bomb? Decide. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't. You After his reaction. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You've already said it. You've already declared it. Yes, yeah, so I don't do it anyway. <laughs> it's I'm not me. I, it's not me taking the damage. I'm glad I gave you my best. <laughs> Twelve. I rolled a six. You hit the bird. Yeah, he deserves it. <laughs> Is it still breathing? You hit the bird and it goes, bah! crashes back into the rock that it was sitting next to, kind of rocks forward again and shrinks in size again. Oh, he's pocket sized. It's, it's now about the same size as Drew. So? It's just part of a trial. Well, I guess I'm not that small, to be fair. Oh, Sam. I am what? four foot. Mm. If you cast Reduce on him, you can pick him up with Mage Hand. <laughs> and um, if I cast my uh, microscopic form, I can do the same. Because we're all maybe small of stature. Drew, you're up. I want to acid that guy in the face. He's going to keep freaking trying. <laughs> Until he has no face. Yeah, you know it. It's, oh, it's, a, it's, it's a dick set, right? Yeah. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I fucking power slam that thing straight into the... Like, right on his face! <laughs> so come up to your little spot. Yeah, I, like, Smack. do the, like, running jump up the <laughs> luggage and come down on him. Take this! This better fucking hit! <laughs> the dude looks up and goes, huh? <laughs> Into the stomach and he swallows it and he goes... <laughs> Small little smoke comes out and he goes... <laughs> his face seems to shrink in on itself. And he collapses backwards. There is a streak of, streak of terror as the other guy in the back of the room is disappearing out of the Ark of the Covenant <laughs> freaking... <laughs> okay. where, is, where is he exiting? He's yeah, gone out, out, out the other end that they came out of before. I would like to right. contact... You can do whatever you want to. I'm going to talk to the bird. Yeah, yeah. I had start heading over towards the bird. Oh, I'm not heading over to it. I got telepathy. I'm plucking the feathers. Oh, I just wander over because, like, and as I'm wandering over, I'm like, how can we help bodies. you? Yeah, the dead bodies. <laughs> can we fucking loot and straight away? I mean, that was my second thought. <laughs> and I want to try and stuff his sword into my back. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll carry it. Onto? Well, into your bag. Into. Why not? A massive great sword. And as long as it can fit in the hole. It's how... Back and forth, as long as it fits in That's the hole. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's like Mary Poppins. X amount of weight. Yeah, Which actually, you're yes. On ti- your entire time until I say otherwise is spent a mix between sticking the sword into your bag and gathering feathers. Is that all you want to be doing? I could take that. Okay. Yeah, for now. For now. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? There isn't a response. I... And, and then you get a response saying, You've got to have permission to try and talk to me that way. 
each time you pat it, it shrinks slightly smaller and smaller. Stop! Stop! It's like quite small now, and it's kind of sitting there. It's just kind of heavily breathing. I step forward and just, how, how can we help you? Time. Plus distance. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be warmer? Would more flame help? No. <laughs> just stuff it, it, that back it, in. It, it moves slightly, and you notice one of the spears has still been sitting in it the entire time. Yeah, and, but and, if and we took side. that out, and I go to reach for it. It doesn't do anything. Shall I? Really? Who knows how far in it is? My better dex. <laughs> you have to actually pull the fucker out. Well, it's tiny. <laughs> As uh, Fitz is grabbing the feathers off the guys, he's like. You obviously don't need these, right? <laughs> <laughs> Either do. way, I gingerly start to give it a bit of a pull to see if it will come. It comes out. Right. It's just the pressure of pulling it out. It's, <sighs> it, 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 it flame seems to sort of spark up a little bit. <laughs> and then it dies down again and it sort of shrinks and forms again. I guess. Did we win? In a matter of speaking, its form shrinks one more time, and now it looks like a sparrow. I go to the and door. it's just sitting there as a sparrow, and it's like, this is easier. Go to the door and scream out, We won! What's <laughs> our prize? Please. The sparrow looks at you, and, and you're here again, you hear, Who's he yelling at? Those humans. But oh. Care. <laughs> At which point I then sit down. So, so, <sighs> what the hell's going on Punk. on this island? Punk. Popping a little You're not with the weird group, are you? I'm not with any of those groups. I'm with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and him. <laughs> like, just threat the luggage. <laughs> the luggage. Oh, yeah, it's the luggage. <laughs> It's hard to explain. Can you show us? No. <laughs> I, I can show people things. See, look. Yeah. Where are you from? The sky we fell. Uh, the sky we fell. The city <laughs> that I'm from. <laughs> I'm from it's in my house. backstory somewhere, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I, I let him know that. And I basically give him like a rundown. I was like, from this place. These humans took me yeah, out. One, one of the libraries. Oh. Yeah. I just learned it. I learned it. <laughs> learned it. <laughs> Corrects himself. Strains mm. himself a little. What brought you to the island? My airship crashed. Airship? Uh, Boat on the sky. Oh, was that what that was the other day? Yeah, oh. so there's there's one tribe that seems to think you're going to destroy the island. Technically that's true. Will you rebuild it after? Uh, well, I, don't still, know. I, don't, I don't know if he's actually, but you... This is mental conversation, so I don't know if I can hear it. Yeah, it's, it's a broadcast. broadcast kind of conversation. You want to chime in, can chime in. Then I will answer with that. Okay. But, it, but why? Or is it just the order of things? I don't know. How? I just feel like I could. Well, I mean, that's the only reason they seem to want to take you out. I can understand that. <laughs> Trish is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Though the other ones seem to like you a whole bunch. They must be the ones who come on my good days. That direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say something about a trial. We won the trial. I have oh. a feeling we won the trial. <laughs> they take the molted feathers from my phoenix form. 
Yeah, those ones seem <laughs> fits just like. Black. And I'm like, black, black. <laughs> just those little. <laughs> would you like some? Black? Huh. You don't need them, do you? It would be nice. <laughs> Pull them all out and throw them. You can walk what, out all of them. In mine, yeah. Okay, you've well got that's like, your guys' ones gone then. You've got like ten. He's got like ten. I've got like twenty. I got more than <laughs> ten. Thank you. Uh, actually. I collected up 20, these two came up later and collected 10, so I don't know what you've got. How much did I collect up down and die and the other guys? Um, four. <laughs> yeah, oh. we'll go with four. Um, it's such a small... I think I gave you 20 last time when you were fighting with other guys. When I wrote down the total we had was 40. Yeah. Have your thing, please. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you would have got about 25 from them. This, this guy, the big dude plus the two other guys that are still there. Out, out of the five guys that were there, two of them don't, don't have feathers. Yeah, I won't throw them either. Because they're completely burned. Just, you could tell you what, out of the 20, you've got 10. You've got 25 out of the three dudes who weren't completely slithered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so check me the pencil and I'll write down that I've got so 10 of those feathers. You're, you're just dropping the feathers onto them? Well, yeah, no, he's that big, isn't he? Yeah, just like... He, he, he walks over, well, could they walk nuss nussles them? into the feathers, and they all burst into flame, and then he turns into like a mini fire elemental and absorbs them all. And then he pops out again, and he now looks a bit like an eagle. He's like, hmm, that was easier. I kind of want to pat him, but then he'll shrink again. <laughs> Be gentle. <laughs> he, hops off, he hops off your head again, and like a fat hunk of rock, and sits there, and it's just like... Those ones are a little fresher. A little... Oh, I don't know if fresher. I don't know where they came from. I'm just like brushing off the small bits of cinder. <laughs> and fire resistant. Yeah. I'm currently focused on fire resistance too. Uh, are you leaving the island? I do believe that's the long <laughs> plan, yes. We were meant to be going to fight something. Long way that way, I think that way. Oh. I'm not sure what or why. They told us to go that way. The ship's direction. <laughs> we were what originally are you even on about? We are at the thing that we were meant to go fight. <laughs> no, this is a side quest. <laughs> mm. This was luggage getting distracted. Going, okay, well, that other village, they're going to keep sending people. Both villages will. Yeah, but we're not worried about the one that's just coming up for trials. They're being all friendly and shit. <laughs> I was pointing out both. <laughs> Shall we? So, there needs to be a conclusion to this. Shall we put in a hole? Oh, put. Break hole. Blow it up. They won't get in. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made contact with anyone from that village that's been trying to attack you? Or attempted to make contact? Similar occasions happen, like the one just now, where they come in. They don't normally have massive sword. Or yeah. Armor. They have been recruiting people. Hmm. They take their chunks of armor then or Perhaps a parlay. Hmm? Perhaps a parlay. You, we perhaps could go in your stead to that village, and let them know that you're not going to just Recruit. destroy them. <laughs> they have I nothing to fear from you. I'm pretty I, sure you just say the. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I can't guarantee that though. Why is that? I'm fire. It says as it brightens up again. I don't have to destroy. Them. Hmm. I just like juggle a couple of <laughs> fire bottles. Fire helps create. They like, disappear again. Fire cooks. I, I feel like I will destroy them though. I'm not I, sure. I oh. felt like I was part of something bigger. I feel like scooping him up in the flip tablet. <laughs> <laughs> he won't do anything now. <laughs> and he's small enough too. Mm. 
That's fair. <laughs> Peter's just, just like, well, that's the nature of things. <laughs> it appears its head over it fits, so it's still mid pulling feathers off. What? <laughs> <laughs> it seems they are heads. Maybe you should return to property. <laughs> these are tainted and filthy, okay? You don't need these ones. He's not wrong, you know. They've been enchanted. Did you get the ones from before from scout groups? Sure. I believe so. I don't know if they were a scout. Because they weren't enchanted. You can keep them. Looks over at you. I don't know what good they would be for you, though. (laughs) You can't fly. Yet. Not yet. Oh. yet. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I fucking toss him. Um, I will, if I can, uh, doff the big guy's armor and chuck it into the bag. You're chucking into your mouth. Oh yeah. my Jesus. Yep. Hey, it was a nice bit of armor. That I just love how you're using my bag of holding <laughs> <laughs> to just I dump am, random shit into it. I am your bag of holding. We don't want that. I do. Nice and pretty. Give it to my friend. Yeah, no, but like, luggage is now distracted <laughs> eating armor, essentially. <laughs> and Drew's just looking at him like, God damn it. And, uh, <laughs> I'll just put down Birdman armor. Um, Thor, damn it. It's uh, basically um, plate. Normal plate. It's, it's plate doffed with feathers. <laughs> Feathered. Oh, well, actually, no, no, it's plates because he took off the feathers. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. I just want to pick up some pretty armor. That's oh my God. Oh. This has some heft to it. <laughs> Such a. I can drop it. No, <laughs> <gasps> oh, hell no! What was that? <laughs> Remember my diminution, tiny microscopic form. <laughs> what happens when something goes big when I'm holding it? It's small. Okay. Oh, like oh. I so the big mystery is not even a big mystery. You're merely a creature small, that exists. Apparently. I'd like to know what this mystery is. You're apparently some big beast from one tribe. The other tribe, you're not the beast. The trial's the beast. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is it when you get a bit too big? Is that when you're going to go... Where did you come from? How long have you been here? <laughs> a while. Want to go for a run? To I'm stretch tired. those wings? You can hop on my little patch. I'll take you for a walk. The bird wanders over and hops up to your shoulder. Ha! Well, all right then. Oh my. Well, I guess that kind of resolves it. Just so seriously. We're come- How old are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Drew's just like... <laughs> Error. Error. <laughs> Memory. Corrupted. Oh. Unknown. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. And just like popping little pieces of metal that have slowly been dented over this fight. It turns oh. to Drew and goes, I think I can help. It turns to luggage and goes, Memory, right? Uh, yes. You and Golf and Flame. Whee! <laughs> I'm like, Luggage is basically on fire. <laughs> this lasts for about. The, the luggage basically is just on fire for about 30 seconds. And then there is a little sparrow on your shoulder again. And it goes, ah. Oh, I thought that could have worked. That was tickling. 
Hmm. I felt like I could have helped with that. I'm sorry. What in the hell is going on? You seem to feel a lot of things. What in the... (laughs) Hold on. Seventh done? Um, I'll drop focus on my fire resistance. Try one more time. It it, it shivers a little bit. It's it's like a small sparrow again. It's just like... Mm. One moment, please. Turn towards Fitz. I require your aid. Can I have your primary feathers? <laughs> it's a life for a Not the ones you just got. Not the enchanted ones. The, the first ones. ones. It's like three or four or whatever it was. Or ten. The small little page. Yeah, as, as you guys are arguing, you hear <clears throat> from the hallway. And the older guy from before is standing there. He's like, um. We won. Um. Scratch, 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 scratch. Why is it small now? You're not gonna question the body on the small. Yeah, he's pulling. <laughs> Drew literally goes <laughs> at the fucking big guy's body. Like he, he looks over at the big guy, and goes, "Ah, oh. this half-naked big guy." <laughs> I didn't see them. I can't see in the dark. You see, so no, they cannot. Interesting. <laughs> Who did you say you people were? Yes. We really he didn't. might have been as you have. <laughs> By this point, the feels? bird knows more. <laughs> it knows more? Look, we came on an airship. Airship crashed. We encountered tribes people. Tribes people were crazy. I mean, yes. astro. Tribes people are crazy. <laughs> yes, I won't deny that. Yes, they are crazy. I've just been trying to find answers, really. Do you have any feathers? The birds are hungry. Shh. (laughs) (laughs) The birds are hungry. (laughs) I have some, but they don't work with him. Can I have one that don't work with (laughs) him? We know you've got ten that will. I'll hand it to him myself. Right there. Fitz will reluctantly hand ten feathers over to him. Is it like are you placing them on? Yeah, it, it fire only pulls in a slightly bigger, more blackbirdy looking bird. Scratch, scratch, scratch. I'll be back. Hmm? We'll try that again later. When you are bigger. Thank you. Scratch, scratch, scratch. It flies over and lands on the guy's oh. shoulder. It goes. <laughs> I feel like I need to think again. And the guy looks at the bird and goes, Sure. I'll go get my other bird friend. You mean the bird that's out in the garden? Yes. My friend. Drew's by this point just standing right now. Like, it seems you have been. He, he does friend. this. <laughs> I make many friends. It's that training him as he walks past. To be a scarecrow. No. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, by this point, yeah, 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 <laughs> Okay. And the guy turns to Are you two coming? Look at you two. Friend. I'm just like. These oh, right. feet <laughs> up in the wall. <laughs> Fitz has to reclaim some back. You still have like 25 of actually enchanted ones. Friend. No more than 25, okay? Is so, there still just a big hole in the wall? Uh, when you come back, there's the hole appears to have been completely like the bits of wood have just been knocked Ten. out, and that's a, it's just a massive doorway oh, again, and it looks like it's a pile of wood that he's obviously getting ready to build another hole. Okay, I was just deciding whether I needed to like start sprinting and hit but Oh my goodness! How many feathers are in the wall? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I will be sitting, resting, and healing after this point. I'm on three hit points. Okay. Um, Give me... Watching my friend do his martial arts stuff. Five rolls. Of what? Twenties? Of acrobatics. Oh, Jesus. Uncover rubber band. 
I'm, I end up just trying to talk to the guy and try and get more and more answers of the island and what the deal is and what he knows. Oh, yeah, I just want to find out how all this goes down. So 21, 15, uh, natural 20, nat- oh, wow, natural ones. <laughs> you grab 15 and then, and then you fall one more to one death. <laughs> and the last one's a 10. Cool, so oh, right. you run around the lower half of the room, pulling off these feathers pretty easily, and then you start climbing up to the next level, because it kind of domes it a little bit, and you start climbing off the bunch, and you're like, yeah, I'm getting good at this. And then you grab a rock, and the rock comes out, and you fall down, take two bludgeoning damage, because you smack on the ground, and a bunch of these feathers kind of oh. fall out of your pocket. You get up again, no, these are mine! You continue <laughs> trying to climb up to get yeah, another feathers yes. on the other side. <laughs> and then you slip and slide down. In total, you have gained most of the lower half of this cave's worth of feathers, which is about 15. Nice. And a, and a sword back. <laughs> it's okay, it's worth it. So it's 15, right? Yep. Yeah. More feathers. Oh, it can get bigger. These are enchanted ones. And no, these, these, these are... These are just normal models. No, these ones. are enchanted ones. No, they're normal. No, they're normal. No, they're normal. I'm in the <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Well, actually, no, I'm probably outside by now, sitting next to the are garden. You, are you, you've walked out and you're just sitting outside? I will pretty much, once we out, yeah, we him and I had our conversation, I will huh? straight yeah, out, just sit where? next to Kinker. No, uh, I was working with him. trying to... Recuperate. Um, trying to get okay. through short resting. With water blast. What was what was Drew doing? Uh, talking to the old guy who now obviously has a pretty He's, shoulder. He, Just trying to find out everything he knows about the island. And, and he, he walks you know, into this lounge. He goes, "Well, I guess first I have to do something." And he walks out to the front of the hill and goes, "They finished. They're explorers." Turns and walks back. And there's a bunch of cheering going on from the bottom of the hill. Having heard that, Trish is like... <laughs> he, walks, he walks back in and goes, look, if I said anything else, then they would insist you went back. But the minute you never leave. Explorer means you can explore. It's... I mean, I'm an envoy warforged. That is what I'm built for. <laughs> and he, he, wand- he wanders over back to the bookshelf and then stares at it for a moment and then looks over at the younger guy who's currently sitting in the corner who's messing around with some food or something and kind of looks back at him and he's just like, He's <laughs> like, his books are out of order. Starts rummaging through them and pulls out a slightly smaller diary looking book. Walks over to you and goes, This is a history of the island. True size or so. <laughs> book. Book. History. Book. History. Book. Reading. <laughs> the doc sells them. For about three gold as a tourist thing. Cool, thanks. <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> Coin purse? <laughs> Wait, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing you want more answers now, aren't you? <laughs> he puts the book on the table, Gets puts, right, his, puts his hand on it, and goes, five gold. <laughs> Listen here, old man. <laughs> We've been running up and down this damn island between retarded tribes for far too long. While they're talking, I want the south. I don't want to go in that room. <laughs> I you're still far too long. Feathers. You're, you're still collecting feathers at the moment. I thought I clicked. I'm feathers. willing to yeah, wait. This is while you're collecting them. Yeah, I'm willing to wait walls. to pay that I'm two gold. Wide. Okay. I'm a kitty. However, I'm I do kid want kid it now. I'm <laughs> willing to pay off put off in. Okay. A couple more silver comes down for you to, to just get to the point. Guess if I did make it there, just stop. He chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. I thought you had some. Do you have three gold then? I didn't say three gold. I said two gold and some more silvers. Roll, roll, roll charisma. <laughs> oh shit. You are so mean. What? 
Tell, first telling me off for trying to be friends with the The people. guy tried to <laughs> charge me, like, three extra gold for information. Two. No, three. No, it was two two gold. gold. Three gold at the same. Three, three gold at the shop. I thought it was two gold. No, no. you're now trying to get it for cheaper than it was. Oh, no, gold. no, no, no. In that case, that's fine. No, yeah. sorry, I didn't want it. Cheaper. Yeah, I didn't want that cheaper than the thing. So, yeah, in that case, it was, yeah, in case of three gold. What? You want to double on that? Sprinkle <laughs> some silver, because he was trying to get five gold. <laughs> that noise. You don't want to have to go off and pick up another book. <laughs> I can understand that, but at the same time, come on, dude. <laughs> I don't mean, need the book, I just need you to be telling me shit. <laughs> roll, roll me charisma. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not trying to get less. No, no, just, just roll charisma. For that. Ooh. Oh. This might be free. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. 20. Okay, yeah. He goes, well, I have to make a walk back there anyway. Give me three gold then, we'll call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Three old. Slides the book to you. Where am I at this point? Seven. Still down there, or he, am I just making sticks the copy in his pocket? And fine, doing business with you, sir. So I'll drop and start reading. Yeah. And at some point, we'll yep. deal with that. <laughs> I'm sitting there just. I need to do one. Thing. What I need to do one thing for luggage, and then we're going to call it a thing. Look, luggage. You're in sleep mode, right? Low bar. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Your eyes flick open. Your, they never, they never no, 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 you, your eyes flick, as in. Okay, for sure. You're currently in a barracks. There are another five warforges with you. Hello, friends. You can't speak. It's. You're, you're all standing there. Oh, no. A door opens, and another warforge. Wanders into the room, stops, and looks at the group of you. There's no sound, it's just a visual. It's holding a box. All three, there are two warforges on the other side of you. Step forwards, pull open boxes as well. You pull open a sort of a satchel box thing and open it up. It walks up and places it in your bag. You close the bag, flick it onto your back. That's it. Go. And then you flip, flip back into your low power mode and you're back sitting on the top of the garden area. That was a pleasant I'm dream. I'm one that really wants to stick a t-shirt. That was like, watch. <laughs> <laughs> like every D&D session I see, yeah. <laughs> just another living crack on it. <laughs> so that's what they do, can't. That's what we get, like, fan fiction doing. Like, that stuff for us and animating. Um, okay, well, that was a pleasant dream? What happened? The tank behind you says, pleasant dream! Dream. I'm um, probably on his shoulder by this point. Yeah. Dream. You're dreaming, buddy? Supposedly. Hmm. I wonder if you're meant to do that. It happened. Probably. It was a good dream. Well, that's good. Friends. Friends like me. With boxes. In a back. <laughs> oh. I like watching every little act she does too. Hmm. Did you recognize anything of where you were? Bricks, stones. Wall. <clears throat> no beds. We'll but figure it out. Military. <laughs> Meaning, well, taking over my head. He's got friends. He's got friends? <laughs> There's more of them. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine an army of them cooking all my go, dinner. Cackle, cackle, cackle. Doing Woo. all of my chores. <gasps> and that's where we call it for the day. Get to sleep, okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. You didn't Thanks die from a fire dragon thing. I almost died. <laughs> we decided to save it. <laughs> It's why? like the first um, really like sure. battle between you, might get to seem like you guys more right and the bugbears. Yeah. Where you were, yeah, we actually fell down, down, didn't you? Mm. It's like, mm. I feel like yeah, I can't. Bye! Because it probably ignites everything around it and then it's crazy.